everybody. Late start. We are dealing with things for my birthday next week. But we're here regardless. And if you've been with us since the beginning, this is our normal start, our original start time. Um, got a lot to do, not a lot of time. So, still working on dealing with finding a link aggregate site. So stay tuned for that. Uh, next week will not be a session of Embers of Autumn. Instead, we're doing a one shot for my birthday. If Lex would like to talk about that for a second. If you sure. Want, if you want. Yeah. Um, it'll be a nice throwback to a time in Anundial's past, uh, a climactic time and, uh, post-apocalyptic but not really it's going to be catastrophic it's going to be blood sweat and tears lots of fighting sad moments happy moments mostly sad if you think so about get it, ready if you think about get it ready. this campaign we're playing tonight is post-apocalyptic technically yeah but yeah it's gonna be fun that's next week uh it's probably gonna be a I guess it'll be full of laughs and smiles and love <laughs> Love. And friendship. Uh, Kate, any announcements? Uh, you know, just the usual Etsy shop shenanigans. Uh, it's almost fall, or it's mid-July. It's early July. So it's time to start thinking about, you know, purchasing your fall decor from your friendly uh, independent crafters. Uh, one of them being me. Uh, I got some uh, cute little ghosts and pumpkins uh, in multiple sizes. Uh, I believe Brittany has a extra large pumpkin uh, somewhere. I do have the thick child somewhere here. Um, in addition to my limited edition, Spooky Bear is making his annual return to my Etsy shop. Um, he's very adorable. He's like a Frankenstein teddy bear. Uh, very great. Great for children. Or if you just need someone to cuddle when you're having a bad day, he's amazing. Spooky Bear is great. Also, here's the thick Boy. Yeah, that's the thick boy pumpkin. That's the thick um, boy. But yeah, uh, you can check out all those listings uh, coming out on my Etsy shop uh, later this month at etsy.com slash shop slash Studio US. Back to you, Justin. Excellent. Anyone else got anything? Phoenix Legendarium this Sunday. We'll be back. And I will get traumatized. Um, great. Oh, yeah, because we ended on a great cliffhanger for you. Yeah. Anyways, uh, no spoilers if you haven't seen it yet. Um, so, last we left off, you all killed an animal green dragon, harvested his body for what you could before the swamp insects were starting to eat, eat away at it. Found yourselves in the green dragon's lair, looted some stuff, which you all can still go over with behind the scenes. It's a lot to deal with. And also, found a piece for coins, platinum orb. Having successfully done that, the party transport via plant or no teleportation circled after Ven got to Argent and found another tent teleportation circle. Teleported to an undeal city and found that the city you were you teleported into the Dreamweave district specific specifically the Crucible of Sending, which is the place where like students can test out their metal with each other from the academy and teleport all over. Um and teleported into there and found it abandoned. And heard a storm raging outside. A similar sounding storm to the one you all had in your shared dream. That's what we're going to pick up. So, a torrential storm can be heard raging from outside. You can hear voices shouting amidst the commotion, but nothing solid, as well as in the distance, the city's alarm bells. And you immediately think about the shared dream you all had about the attack on the city. But that being said, one of the dragons in that dream now lies dead in the fell swamps. And... The more you think about it, this dream, this storm you hear is different in aspects. And as you are standing down here in the room where all the teleportation circles are, you can see a good amount of dust billowing down the spiral staircase where these teleportation circles are set up. And as you remember, up the staircases to get to the ground floor of this establishment. And just because we don't have a lot of time. Uh, as you creep up the staircase towards the top of this uh, place called the Crucible of Sending, you can see the upper floor is completely vacant of students that usually study here and the front door of the establishment is wide open with massive amounts of dust blowing into the building you look outside and you can only just see like a dust storm and unlike the storm from the dream this appears like a strange sandstorm but made of gray dust 
with heavy rainfall and thunder. So, you can also see a flash of lightning, but it isn't red, marking yet another difference from the dream. And then the storm just stops. Uh, so I imagine uh, I'm gonna scan around see if there's anybody there's people like in the streets confused just looking around outside right. this building currently uh, is everybody alright no one's injured no it's just, a there's just a storm came out of nowhere and you can see there's debris all over the place like mostly branches some trees have fallen over and there's like large rocks but Everyone's looks on skate. Like people got inside before it got bad. So just kind of a freak tornado. Almost? Not a tornado. It was like a dust storm, and it only has been going on for the last hour. And people were saying it was the most dangerous and concentrated in the Dawn Ward. Uh, did you did you notice anything before it started, or were you all inside? Uh. Trying to figure out what, what they would have noticed. Theory? Let me roll for it, because they're just a commoner. Uh, direction the clouds came from? They sort of just appeared out of nowhere, like they coalesced above the city. Shit. Did you say uh, the Don Ward was where? From some peep from what I've heard, about an hour ago, people were getting ushered out of the Don Ward, because apparently the storm there was throwing massive pieces of debris around and. It was almost like the Dawn Ward was impossible to get into. The storm was so concentrated there. And then she, like, checks her, she's like, she checks her son, who's with her for, like, bruises, and, like, to see if he's okay. And he's like, I'm fine. And Looking in that direction. Just as a word of any... note, Druck, with your passive survival, or whatever it's going to be, it's about 6 a.m. You guys, like, just woke up and got here, so. Mm-hmm. But if you look uh, over in the direction, if you look east, over in the direction of the Dawn Ward, the storm is still there a little bit. Like, it's ebbing away. Are the, are the clouds, like, still up there, or are they, like, fading? It's a too? beautiful blue... Well, not it wouldn't be super blue yet, because the sun's still rising, but there are mm. no storm clouds. Oh, so it's just, the, it's just like, the wind and the dust storm. Yeah. And it's, oh, okay. it's moving towards the Dawn Ward. It's still lingering in the Dawn Ward, but then it's, like, ebbing away. It's slowly fading. Should we go in that direction or chase the storm? It's fading over the Dawn Ward. It's not leaving the city. Dude, we should specifically do both. Yeah. Mm. And you all remember you are banned from the Dawn Ward temporarily because of oh, right. that incident. I what mean, incident? Sorry. The explosion at the temple that... Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, when we... That day? What, two happened. days ago? That little, that little old thing? Uh, three, three days ago. Three days ago. Yeah. They forgot about it. We've had a very busy <laughs> past week. The last week has been bananas. B -A -N -A -N -A. Actually, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> I remember to spell that. That would be... I said, I said, I said three. It's actually more. It's a... Uh, five days ago yeah so still still under a week <laughs> we spent a few days actually um, traveling but as you're like looking around, you can see at one crowns guard his armor's like dented in places from where he got hit by debris and there's like a gash in the shoulder plate where like a branch went flying and impaled him in the shoulder he's just he pulls the branch out and just throws it to the ground and goes fuck uh, uh i'm gonna and have then he <clears throat> and then he puts his hand on the wound and you can see some like gold light emanates or platinum colored light emanates and the wound closes all right, now nah, he's fine. Yeah, most a lot of the higher crowns guard in the city are paladins. They're just like, cool. And then he's also like going around like checking people for wounds and like just laying on hands like one hit point into people who are commoners who have like seven hit points total. So just, yeah. Should we just go to the uh, that guild? What was it called? The Wayfarers Guild. That sounds. You said that with confidence, so I believe you. Yes. I mean, it was a question. Trying wait for, to wait, from here, yeah, sure, from here the Wayfarers the Guild's like a couple buildings down. Um, but you make your way there. Just <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> you pass. You we would because you're at, you. Oh no, you're in the Dreamweave District. You're gonna. It's like an hour away, actually. The Wayfarers yeah. Guild. I don't 
why, why don't uh, we just try to get into, you know, Dawn Ward? Because we got banned? There are sewers. And that would stop us? Who's watching Instagram um, videos? Because it's picking up on the stream and maybe don't watch videos when we're streaming. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, okay, well, sorry, that totally knocked me out of my rhythm. Uh, what are you guys doing? So, uh, perhaps we should investigate this, yes? Uh, are, are any of you interested? Uh, it seems that this is quite an ominous sign. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this I'd like to see if there's a source to the storm. Alright, so this how do we get in? Was anyone else reminded of the vision that we shared? Or us? Yeah. <clears throat> then this um. It tastes like a finger in soup, as it were. So we should perhaps go and see what hand that finger belongs to. I might change the episode title to whatever. How many? Uh, there were. How many dragons were there? So we've you've killed one you before, guys, right? Yeah. We've killed two. Now. Then the green one. Yes. And then there's a black one and a blue one. You didn't, see a you, didn't, you didn't see a black one. You saw a, there was a gray one that was covered in mushrooms and had like a salamander like mouth. Oh, I wrote black salamander. Yeah. Oh, so deep. That's yeah. It's called a deep dragon. And then there was yep. the uh, yep, 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 yep. blue dracolich. Blue undead. Green adult. That's it? There was only four. And you all, the rest of you would remember that there were also some dragons that were different in that one city you passed through that got demolished because Kenna talked to some plants and they said, hey, these ones look different. They turned people into statues and ate them. And they kind of had dust coming off their body. And that was back on Remnant. But we as a party specifically noted four dragons. Like, in could identify on site. Uh, in, in, the, the in, in the storm, <clears throat> there you saw three. The green, the deep dragon, and the lich. The blue. Okay. Sorry, just wanted to make sure I wasn't miscounting. Yeah, and one of them's um, dead. So yes, it, but it was tied to the city, in a way. Or the vision said so to be. I don't know. Do we try to get in? Would they? Is there a way that we could get in? Uh, coin. You could would be? coin based on your background. That what you have is your background. You would know the sewers span all over the under under the city, like everywhere. They. You would also know they probably connect to the catacombs underneath the halls of eternal life. Why have I been sleeping on this for so long? Because I just I just clued in that you probably have that. Because I looked at your because of, at, I looked at of your, urchin. Yeah, I looked at your yeah. background. Yeah, yeah. Because of urchin. You'd be the only I one should. in the party that knows that. Uh, everybody, uh, huddle up. <clears throat> We're huddling. So, um, I've been ashamed of my past, and I will be ashamed no longer. We can slide into the dawn more like a snake in the grass if we use the passages underneath uh, the city. We can go as one undetected to see. As you know, there may be thieves underneath the city but that is the possible risk of getting to the source of where the storm may be uh, I will leave it up to you I will lead you through the sewers if you would like to go but if you're all not into trying to break the rules I understand. 
And as Coin's saying this, you, you notice Coin standing directly on top of a sewer grate. <clears throat> and does half a little claw to bring everybody's attention to it. Like, scrapes it with his toes like a... Or like a... Nice. Yeah, like toe tap. Yeah, and like I said, the, the storm is still barely lingering over the Dawnward. Like, it's just not really moving, but it has faded a little. At this point, is a better ask forgiveness than an ask permission? Already pretty high up on the shit list. We got away with it once, but... I mean, if they're going to execute me, at least make sure they sharpen the blade coin. And Dax will just, like, take a step closer in. I... You know, I will make sure that they perhaps leave a pretty corpse is that I've heard that sentence somewhere and I heard that's like a cool thing to say make sure the braids stay intact right okay that's okay that's what I was fishing for and I caught it and what you actually meant got it now coin you would know again urchin stuff the guards rarely go down under the sewers if at all. The only time they, the only time you know they went down to the sewers was when the temple exploded. Five days ago. And they mm -hmm. said the investigation was complete. Mm -hmm. And then you were told the investigation was completed already. So there ain't going to be any guards down there. And like I said, through your history of being an urchin in this city, you never saw a guard down there. So. <clears throat> you would know it's the only way to move about the city undetected. And it's probably why there was a gang of thieves and whatnot down there so very much like rifting from skyrim dax i will just maybe i'm speaking out of turn maybe if coin mentioned thieves under there maybe maybe we don't kill them maybe we just that last time was i panicked it was like a different person was in control of me and they panicked during that but i won't <laughs> kill any thieves. All right. Sorry, I just... Okay. I've uh, never noticed how much, Flitz, you look like a wooden spoon. In what that you that resemble mean? very much a pot stirrer currently. <gasps> no, I was just saying it's, you know, we don't want to get, if we get caught doing this, if we have a trail of bodies behind us, then that's a little bit you harder than... You know what, Flitz? Uh, that storm? The wind uh, and everything? Not natural. Uh-huh. You're, yeah. you're an expert of wind, so. <laughs> you're right. Wind knowledge is. I don't know what that's called. Because I'm a wind expert. <laughs> oh. Uh, I mean. Makes him sound like he's really into farts. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> but uh, but regardless, like I said, uh, it's, it's going to be. It's, we don't have a lot of time tonight. So what do you guys think? Yeah. All right. Uh, in, in that spirit, uh, DM, I've looked at uh, the urchin background of the city seats. If we're not in combat, I can travel yeah. to between any two locations twice as fast as yeah. my speed would allow. So that's why you guys have been moving through moving through the city much quicker since the beginning, we'll say, than any other any other people in between districts. They're probably looking at two hours. You guys have been doing districts one hour. Coin right has on. all the shortcuts. Means... Just sliding and parkouring off yeah. um, market posts. Perfect. That doesn't pull attention. <laughs> Just kicking oh. off of it. <laughs> It's like it's like it's, it's like it's like the, it's like the scene in the office, the yeah. American office parkour. <laughs> I think there's seventy all or six. Oh. Of... <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, like, when you're sitting directly over a sewer grate, you know the guards don't go down to the sewers because there's been stories of things in the sewers, but they've never been you know confirmed. And also, you you spent a lot of time in the sewers, probably you never saw anything weird down there. Who knows? Yeah, bas basically, we put up a lot of uh, wind chimes. And that makes people think that um, there's not much wind down there. I mean, people are breaking wind all the time in the sewers. Oh my God. All right. Poop everywhere. Yeah, you asked. You called down the thunder. <laughs> there's a little rumble of thunder in the distance right. from the from the Coin. lingering storm. That's ominous. He's gonna. Fletch is gonna do something that he doesn't do often. He's gonna check around. Perception see check. If there's any guards. Oh God. It's 6 a.m., so, I mean, it's still dim light, so. Five? <laughs> uh, and... Oh, nope. You don't see any. Let's go! 
That one's down we go. Also, Druck, pass perception. All the guards are too busy, like making sure people are okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Should move quickly. All right, coin. You can, coin. You can I, easily. I, you can easily lift the sewer grate. It's like one of those. Um, this is fantasy, so it's like one of those like square sewer grates. It's got like the bars on it, so it's kind of. Yeah, just uh, slat Slatted. I am conflicted about being caught, especially after the amount of time the re our recent endeavors of meaning well and everything. But my mother is over there, so screw it. We gotta protect the mothers who are still alive here, and Dax, like, points towards Ven and, like, one of those, like, race hell, like, fist bumps. Alright. Or if I did uh, it, but before we go down, mage armor. <laughs> Smart. Uh, yeah. Question. Same. I summoned my mom at the beginning of the day. Is she still with us? 6 a.m. So How long does she last? Uh, uh, an hour. Oh, like uh... You probably got like 10. I read minutes. somewhere that she can stay for up to 24 hours, but that might have changed. Yeah, playing home versus stuff, so I tend to yeah. modify it a bit as we go to make sure yeah. it's not so OP. Um, like they, like spellcasting barbarians. Um, I think she goes back after an hour. I mean, it's brought some great energy. It's an hour, but... yeah. So she'd okay. be, she's got like maybe five minutes left. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep mom with us. Actually. For here hold on i think you went to argent first thing in the morning so mom isn't here oh, anymore yeah. that was after argent yeah i i think oh, right. I mom's yeah. got 10 minutes 10 minutes cool all right so anyone else doing any pre prep pre-gaming before you go down into the sewer let's do mage armor i also did beer. also mage Shotgun armor it. <laughs> ben's also Drops. doing mage armor yeah all right. Hey, Flitz. Um, and then uh -huh. roll percentile. Roll uh, your percentile dice. Oh, fuck. That's oh, right. Boy. Even at Will's do this. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Did I do my Cathedium crystal at the beginning of the day? You did. You had, okay. it was, we forgot about it. And your, fin <gasps> your fingers and toes are two feet long. Nice. That's right. I have <laughs> Also, I, and there's, and I'll tell you this for the purposes of just the session, that's going to last for eight hours. Cool. So Maybe for the purposes of this, here. for the purposes of this, because your fingers and your fingers are like two feet long, oh, all shit. sleight of hand checks are going to be a disadvantage, and your toes, the two length toes, aren't going to do anything. <laughs> they just made hope. They just made holes in your shoes. But uh, Stop. all right, I'm roll a sixty nine. Sixty nine. So fun fact: nice. if you roll a sixty nine, oh, you know what I should have done? It should be fucking sixty nine percent on that item, not thirty. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You know what? I'm, recto like, I'm, rec I'm retroactively changing it to 69%. That's would, bigger than 60%. Would, 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 would Noose have made this magic item a 69% chance? No, Noose is, oh. Noose is a, an innocent boy okay, when cool. it comes to that Fine. type of That's thing. That's right. That's right. Okay. So you all, you all, you all, uh, yeah. you all, you all climb down the ladder into the sewer. It's about a, it's about a, it's about a 10 foot drop. Uh, and this sewer isn't cleaned regularly. It's a sewer. So they've got like little stone walkways along the sides. This sewer is much more maintained than the sewer you were last in, which was the one in Varanmoor, which had all the coastal kind of stuff growing in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one is still a metropolis sewer, so it's still filthy. Um, but this one has raised stone walkways with uh, oh. brass railings that are all like rusted and covered in like gunk. Uh, and in terms of like water flowing through there isn't any it's more of like a nice brown sludge Ugh. but when you climb down the ladder you're standing on stone walkway it's still it's still dirty but it's not like you're, you're not gonna be wading through a metropolis for some reason i have the population for the city set at like 1.7 million for some fucking reason uh so you're not gonna be wading through that many people's worth of waste because you're on a raised platform and there are like oil lanterns down here that stay continuously lit from a uh, continual flame spells. Yeah, I imagine that it would be very difficult for a thieves guild to operate if yeah. they all smelled like also, shit and people could just uh, see them. They didn't have to see them, they just had also, to smell them. Also, Druk, you would know this because of your survival. Yeah. Non-magical flames down here, bad idea. Because well, I mean, everyone kind of would kind of know that. Non-magical yeah, flames down here. Non-magical flames down here, probably a really bad idea. So just a heads up. But, uh, Behind you, the tunnel goes back. So behind you, actually, no, behind you, yes, behind you, the sewers go about 50 feet back and end. 
at like a drainage system um because you're at like the western side of the city here uh and you want to go east because the dream we the royal ward dawn ward fuck dawn ward is in the east so coin you would know you just want to go east and there's not going to be any checks to find your way there. You've probably gone to the Dawn War through the sewers all the time, because that's where the Temple of the Bahamut is. So. There are any other things that I can do? But uh, this right, is, let's these, go. These, these walkways are also five feet wide, though. Like, enough for one person to walk single file. And I imagine Coin's going to be leading the way, because Coin knows the sewers and nobody else does. So, for our little poop walk. Um, does him. Coin has any, like... Like, does coin have like a bag or a satchel or? I have a coin, a, a coin that I throw uh, everything uh, into a chest. Oh yeah, that's on right. On my back. Can't be sneaky then. Never mind. Just for fun, is Ven checking out that castle, that little miniature castle at all during this walk? No, not yet. Okay. Gotta wait for no, a but, safe uh, but, time oh, to sorry. do scientific study. If this, this might be the only time. You might die. Yeah, but it also might kill me, so... There's only, there's, there's only one way to yeah. find out. Yes, there's... Well, there's... Yes. But regardless. No, for sure. Coin, go ahead. You look like there is a question that you have. Oh, was I... What? Most is probably, like, looking over coin, like... Where? Also, uh, just for the sake of dark vision, down here, like I said, all the lanterns are lit by continual flame, so it's dimly lit. So passive perception is a negative five for anybody who has dark vision, and uh, people who don't. Actually, it's dimly lit. So anybody has a negative five for their passive perception. Well, dimly we can with dark vision we can see in dimly light like it's bright light. We have to see in dark like it's dimly Fine. lit. Right? I'm just asking. I'm just don't confirm it. Now you all have negative <laughs> ten to your passive perception. Hey. No. Uh, who's behind? I negative one. Uh, <laughs> uh, Flitz is gonna give Coin his talisman. Okay. Then, like, sneak it on so your you know person. What? I'm saying Flitz is behind Druk. Uh, oh. Vas is dust. What? Just hold on to it. If, uh, just, just hold on to it. Who's behind Flitz? Um, I'll go behind Flitz. I assume then Ven? Mm hmm. Hey, hey Lex. Mm hmm. This might be important. What does this quote unquote talisman look like? And you're handing it to a paladin of Baba. <laughs> Uh, no, the talisman that I have, I have this right now. One second, one second, one second, one second. It's in my description. I'm doing my description. Going, going, going. Appearance. Um, it is a do 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 do. It is a simple gold chain with a marble. Uh, it looks like something swirling inside of it. It essentially looks like a snow globe. Fart in a jar. Um, all right. What does this do? You'll know if it. Uh, you'll know if you need it. It'll come in handy if things get crazy. Okay. This room. I have okay. experienced this. Uh, tingled and was helpful. Um, but uh, as you, you can know, use it if you fail a saving throw or if you fail an ability yeah. check. You can roll a d4 and potentially succeed. <laughs> yes. Um, so as you all, as coin leads you all through the sewer. Uh, Every so often you can see another sewer grate looking up into the city, but you don't really see much, you just see the sky. Um, and you hear this steady sound of rats. Because, I mean, it's a sewer. So I, it, the path is on either side of what I assume is like a tube. Like, so there's yeah, like a, it's, 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 it's a stone path. It's a tunnel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Coin is going to be jumping back and forth over the muck across to either side. Okay, it's, about a, it's about a 15 foot gap. Little, so what's your strength score? Yeah. Strength is ba, 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 ba. wings. Thirteen total. Also, you have, plus you have wings, so you can just like. Yeah, that was yeah, that was the goal. Was a little bit yeah. of a. Yeah, so coins doing that. Jump in the gap, and you're all just walking along single file. Um, you guys going stealthy? If you go stealthy, it's a slow pace, so it depends. No, again. It's still it's still uh two. Yeah. But you'd still be Twice going the at the speed we you, normally would. You'd still be going at a slow pace, so it would be a normal pace if you're going at a slow pace. Right. Uh, I'll take that. Which would kind of be weird for stealth checks. Anyways, so you're proceeding uh, on coin. Eventually, you bring them to this culvert. I think that's the name of it. A massive kind of like drainage system. Uh, it takes like an hour to get there. 
moving through the maze-like sewer under the city, like again, Metropolis sewer. Um, you get to this like culvert, and there's many like platforms, like stone walkways, going over this 60-foot drainage pit. And at the bottom of the pit, it's just flooded with sewer water and rainwater. I didn't even see pipes, these like rusted brass pipes, shooting water out into there. And yeah, the sewer goes in like eight different directions. And you would know you can find the exact one to go. You you can you'd also know the walkway on this path you're about to take is a little rickety and you've heard stories of people attempting to navigate this walkway and they kind of fall over because it's very rickety. So you would know to warn your friends that hey, this walkway up ahead is gonna be very treacherous to walk across. And as you get to it, you can see a lot of it has just eroded away from just like rust damage. And it's just a single rusted beam. Like you know how uh, if you see like a metal bridge that's kind of like broken away, it's kind of just stone, broken away gap about like 20 feet, and then the bridge, the walkway continues. So there's still the metal railings, but there's no stone walkway for about 20 feet, and then it continues in the direction that you would know would lead to the Dawn Ward. Um, is there anywhere that I could stabilize these railings with mending? Uh, kind of like no, there. no, because there's nothing left to like rebuild them with. Uh, but like not even the rusted bits no. just to like re get no, anchor them it all would have it all would have fallen yeah. into this pit but unfold the carpet just all aboard yeah we could just yeah. walk across the carpet or, or just we all get on the carpet <laughs> and just hovers across like a like a okay. tramway all right that makes that easy you hover across on the carpet and you can continue on carpet. at this point i would like everyone making pers- Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go, no, you go ahead. I was just... I, I, my character is essentially just going to marvel at the... Uh, the How far we've come. That's all. A rug. The thin-faced. <laughs> well, then. I need everyone to give me perception checks. Because, Coin, you're getting into an area of the sewer where you've heard stories of very smelly creatures that live inside waste and garbage. Could I cast Guidance uh, on Coin while No, we're because writing? this is not an ability check you can tell. This is just Ooh, sort of okay. recalling. Got, perception is everyone kind of doing it at once, so it's your action to do the perception checks. You can't do that and then do Guidance. <laughs> also, <laughs> Stop fucking me. is this a disadvantage because of the dark? Uh, oh. Dim light, yes. Okay. Dim light does Great. have disadvantage on perception checks. Great. I'll roll again. Even Let's if you have dark vision. It's dumb. <laughs> yes, as the rules say, dim partners. light is still disadvantage yeah. on dark, on, even if you have dark vision. Big ol' five. Five on that perception check? Two. Two? Oh, nice. Nine. With, wow. with disadvantage, 13. Okay. You can roll a d4 if it's a... <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> May I roll a d4? <laughs> if you want to. Well, he, it, would, it would essentially it turns a fail into a success. Yeah. So if it's something that's like trying to pop out, bleh. but I, but is it only use it? Do you only use this once, or how many? You have four charges. To... Up to you. And not on this. Thirteen is probably good. Okay. With the disadvantage, thirteen will be fine. All right, Druck. Twenty-seven. Dax. Ten. Wow, Coin and Druck succeeded. Um, Coin, you heard stories like some people you would associate with in the sewers. They would tell stories of something that would live down here with, like, a bulbous creature uh, that has, like, three legs, eyes, and a nose with, like, vine log, vine-like stalks on its bloated body. And they kind of tend to live in, like, refuse and trash and garbage. And you only heard one word when people talked about it. They were called Otyugs. Um And there was always a rumor that one lived down here in the sewers. And you and Druk can kind of hear something sleeping down a tunnel. As you're walking down this tunnel, there's a tunnel that snakes to the left, and it's just completely jam-packed with, like, refuse and trash. And you can hear something snoring in that tunnel. About, like, 120 feet down the tunnel. You can't see anything when you look down the tunnel. But you can hear something <sighs> sleeping. This is, uh... This sounds like what we had called... Uh, Bruder Atyuk, which is known for his sneaky nature and being made almost of uh, 
mostly jelly and stink, and often made of several bulging masses. There are only three legs, and he is going to eat you and uh, uh, suck all the meat off of your child bones if you are to get caught. Um, Ven, in as clutches. Ven and Flitz, as soon as Coin mentions Otug, the both of you can make history checks if you want. All right. And the both of you get advantage because of Soul Spire Academy. Oh, thank For you. For reasons. Oh my God! I rolled the same fucking thing. <laughs> I rolled two twos. So oh, ten. Yeah. You probably didn't pay attention in lessons. You have to nah. Five, five just like stinky, smelly things. No thanks. All right. Hmm. A stinky. stinky. Yeah, stinky. Yeah. Uh, then what'd you get? 24. <laughs> 24? Yeah, you know what Otugs are. They're like large aberrations. Um, they're very resilient. Very constituted. Um, yeah. Hurdy. They can see very well in the dark. Uh, yeah. They're not that perceptive. They can speak okay. in their own language. They have a limited telepathy. Um, and their bites carry very bad poison, like a very, oh, sorry, a very bad disease. Uh, so you mm. know everybody in this group, aside from coin, would be, uh, at risk for said disease if you, if you wake this thing up. Um, you'd know they're grotesque, bulbous creatures born along on three sturdy legs, eyes and nose set along a vine-like stalk that snakes from the top of its bloated body, two rubbery tentacles end in spiky leaf-like appendages that it uses to shovel food into its mouth. Um, they bury their cell, They bury themselves in mounds of offal and carrion and other garbage, leaving only a sensory stock exposed. And as you mentioned, as you recall that, you look down the tunnel, Ven, and you can see the sensory stock out of the garbage, kind of just like, kind of like a uh, fuck. Can't think of the word. Like a fucking I'm submarine. Periscope wars. Like a submarine. Per yeah. Periscope. Like a periscope. Um, and you would know when an edible creature happens upon this Otug. It erupts from the filth and grabs hold of it. Again, you'd know they're not very perceptive, but in this kind of tight corridor, it would be incredibly deadly. So y your history check would be it'd probably best for us to just sneak past this tunnel. Like I said, it's down the west tunnel. Coin, you would know you have no need to go down that west tunnel. You just have to go straight. So it's up to you if you want to sneak past this thing. But like I said, would not be a good thing to fight it down here, Ven. So I'll quietly relay that to everybody. Um, and, so again, so you uh, said they lack we just need to go straight. We don't yeah. actually need to go in this direction. Yeah, and also you would also know okay. they lack concern for anything but food. Uh, so that's all they care about is eating. Okay. And you'd also know actually you got a twenty-seven, twenty-four, twenty-four. Uh, You'd also know that some sentient, some trading beings can coexist with them, employing them as garbage disposals. Mm. So someone could be, someone could, you can train these, train these things, by feeding them. Mm. Smart though. And it's been down in the sewers, coin that you know for a very long time. So who knows? But yeah, then you'd know your best bet yeah. is to probably sneak past it, and just continue yeah. forward. Yep, I'll relay that to everybody, but uh, I will say that so we should try and sneak past it, but if it does notice us, uh, we should be prepared to huck food like past it in case it notices us to try and like get its attention away, divert its attention away from us and in time to just run. Because of that, you would know uh, they are sedentary gluttons. Mm -hmm. uh, and as long as it's fed, it refrains from attacking other creatures. No. Okay. Uh, we actually have a whole lot of uh, dragon meat that's about to go bad, so we might be able to relieve a uh, sucker oh, that's or right. so to keep it busy. Actually, yeah. Do we want to just... Do, it, do I know from that, do I know just like if we just feed it, do we not even have to worry about sneaking? Uh, it depends if it has a guardian already or not. If it already has a depends guardian, what? if it already has someone that feeds it, because these, the, the, you know that they're symbiotic guardians, so if somebody mm -hmm. already feeds it and the creature's loyal to it, it wouldn't matter if. Oh, so it does. Okay, so it's not just like if it's eating, it's complacent. Yeah, it's generally loyal uh, to okay. people who regularly feed it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so just like throwing food in its direction wouldn't do anything. Probably, a bit, probably system. alert it and be like, yeah. 
Okay, all right. So we'll last resort, see if that does anything, but then still try and sneak past. All right. So, yeah. And, and, try and... Uh, with that, you know, you've heard stories that some people who try to tame Otiogs underestimate the quantity of food that they want. Mm-hmm. It's like, gonna... it's, like it's common to underestimate how much they want to eat. So, I'm going to cast yeah. Goodberry just in Does case. Does that have vocal components? Oh, wait, does it? Never mind, I'm not going to. You said it, though. But no. Well, that was before keep, I looked at Keep the... a reminder that when you're trying to be <laughs> sneaky, some spells have vocal components. I, looked at it. <laughs> I cast it, and then so, I looked at what So. I cast <laughs> Silence, and then I cast... <laughs> So, <laughs> what are you guys doing? Sneaking past? What? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, everyone make stealth checks. Group stealth check. If more than half the group failed the DC, that thing gets alerted. So let's go. Oh, I have a plus seven. That's right. <laughs> so, Ben, what'd you get? Ben was yelling this information to us. Ben got a, with advantage, Ben got a five. My advantage? Wait, are we rolling with advantage? Because, no, I have the oh. cloak of the bat. Gotcha. Right. So uh, that gives advantage on stealth checks. All right. So then you got a what? Five. That's one fail. Uh, Kenna. How many? There's seven, Five. so four need to fail. Unless someone gets a natural one, that counts for two fails. Uh, mm -hmm. Kenna, what'd you get? Nine. Oh, wonderful. Uh, coin? Uh, 25. There we go. Druck? 22. There we go. All right, it's up to these two. Dax? Um, Muted? 14. Okay. That could go either direction. Flitz. 16. Ven and Kenna, how would you two like to fail this stealth check? Oh. I think... I think Kenna does start casting... Fair. Uh, so as you do that, you can see... You, and then Ben like, like, like no 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 like, no 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 no, 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 no. What, ben, what Ben's gonna do Ben is just gonna act is gonna be like ex quietly explaining this all to everybody and is gonna like miss the path and accidentally just dunk his entire boot oh, into the sludge okay. so, as the, so as the both of you do that everybody else notices the uh, the sensory stock kind of turn and look in your direction but you all kind of just continue forward and it just kind of goes back to slumbering. Am I able to finish casting Goodberry? You'll wake it up if you do. Okay. Then I will stop mid-cast. Okay. And you continue forward. For another hour. There's a dissertation on Vin's once we're a good little bit away. Okay. Just, like, once you, like, once you, can, like, once you yep. can stop hearing it, like... It's a mm -hmm. large creature makes a lot of noise when it sleeps. Okay, yeah. excellent. Yes, there is, there is rumors that if you, if you are to be stopped by the the, the the that specific creature what you do is you throw your lunch at it you everyone is to drop their lunches and to run that is that is what this flee drop and run and um as you're as you're walking you can see there's like a drawing of this thing on the wall out of poop like, like the people that live down here don't have anything to write with so they they've drawn this thing like a major That's a work drawing of shart. with an arrow pointing <laughs> with an arrow pointing in the direction you're coming from and it says be quiet and it's I probably a... digitated away oh <gasps> do you actually no I slap his hand <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> anyways this, poop this, on is, the this wall. is what the drawing looks like in some aspect just like a poopy finger yeah, the... no I, I, I slap your hand oh, away alright contest, 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 contest a slight hand it's a sign Sure. Yeah. Oh, what funny. So it's kind of right? like a bear? Where yeah, it really no. only just wants your food? I wasn't really committed to it. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a five. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The rolls tonight are not great. Wow, ah, what a wasted natural 20. Wow, yeah, you, <laughs> uh, you can see him about to like, and then you're just like, <laughs> but uh, then you continue. It is, it, honestly, it's a two It's a two finger ungle slap to the forehead. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, and you continue. You tap the. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, you continue. You continue for another hour. So those who have spells that have a duration, that's two hours down on it. Uh, and at this point, fuck, you come to a solid wooden door with iron fittings 
uh, like in a window, and it's been padlocked, and it says there's like a like a shitty like another poop drawing, <laughs> uh, and it says Don Ward. <laughs> like people, the people that live down in the sewers, coin you would know. Like this is how they communicate. They have no other ways to communicate because they're very destitute, so they just draw with this. It's an ample supply, so they just. It says Don Ward, but yeah, the door's got like a massive brass padlock on it. So, uh, coin is <laughs> going to say, uh, Drak, would you like I'll, to I'll... try? Yes, yes, I'll give All it a right. shot. These Thank tools you. check. This lock doesn't look too complicated, but it's, it looks like it's complicated enough to keep out, like, Okay, sewer dwellers. Bad. DC was 26, what? what'd you get? Uh, no, I'm kidding. Tw- I'm kidding. 26? No. You, t- t- the lock, you pick it like instantly. You just, t- 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 Drop it, just look back. Yeah. And when, like, when you put like the, your thief tools in, you hear like a squishing noise. Like, so, just so like, gr- like, it's moist down here, so it's probably just like oh. moist growth in there, and you pull the lock pick out, and there's like a bunch of clusters of like mold, just like, and whatnot stuck to the lock pick. And you're just like, press the digitation. Doesn't work. No, it does. Okay. Oh, so I got in trouble for so. That. As soon as you pick the lock, the door <laughs> opens. Like this lock was keeping it like shut, and all the refuse that's been piling up against this door just kind of like pushes it open. Just <sighs> and you're looking out into a cistern, so a flooded portion of the sewer uh, with a bunch of like support beams. You all know what a cistern looks like. Uh, Sewer with support beams, kind of flooded. No real walkways in this area, though. All right. So we're getting closer to where we. And this is just flooded with rainwater because cisterns are used to diverge rainwater away. So it's not poop or anything. It's just rainwater. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're getting closer to where we want to be. Is there anything? specific we're keeping an eye out for or the goal is information gathering but we don't want to we need to know Wait. when to leave don't we need to go sorry don't we need to go to the catacombs too yes coin you know like, this, this yeah. sewers connects to the catacombs that's the way this where this goes Oh. Also, Wait, where... as you're getting a sense of your surroundings, just because I, I I just realized where you are you are now in the sewers, you can see a massive portion of wall that's been blown outward, and you can see that's the extent of the explosion that happened. So you're now lo- you're now in the vicinity of the uh, thieves guild base. So you're only coin you know you're only maybe like a couple hundred yards from the halls of eternal life. Uh, then didn't we have an assignment or a wasn't someone asking questions yes. about the catacombs? Yeah, you guys have. There was one. a. Did we did we pick up the contract? Actually, yes, or? you have three. You have three yeah, contracts. Okay. The one contract was to go to the catacombs. Like this guy's brother went to, broke into the catacombs to pay respects to his mom, and he was never heard from after he did. And the crowns guard never knew never heard of him and that the people who work at the halls of eternal life said oh yeah he never showed up hmm. okay and this was after the catacombs were like sealed to the public like no one was allowed in or out mm-hmm. so you get a sense you I, probably I, knocked out a contract too doing this i guess this also lets us know that the wayfarers guild is not necessarily cooperative with the temple because yeah. i feel like turning in this turning in this mission is admitting to a crime I mean, isn't then also, making or this, also helping making... solve a conspiracy, and maybe oh yeah, no, I'm saying. Be... Well, oh well, yeah. I mean, but like, I, I, how, did the temple just like not know that they posted this? <laughs> just you don't know. Just, oh, let's go see what the missions are. Don't know how don't do it, that. Don't, don't post it. You don't yeah. know. Yeah. Who do we not like at the temple? Barney. Everyone. Most of them. Oh. Barnier specifically. <laughs> okay, that narrows it down. The head yes. accolade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. But yeah, this is where you are right now, Coin, is where the explosion happened in the base. You look, you can see through the debris. The entire base has been leveled. There's nothing left of it. Uh, and it's a good six city blocks that this that this explosion encompassed. 
Um, and you would know from where you're standing roughly, you're about 150 yards north. Uh, 150 yards north is where the Halls of Eternal Life are, where the entrance to the catacombs is under the sewers. But you probably never would have went into the catacombs, because... I mean, that's where all the dead are. So... If you've seen one dead body, you've kind of seen them all. There's nothing to... That being said. Exciting being about said, dead bodies. You all can hear somebody else walking through the water of this cistern. Just flooded rainwater. Just... It's the fuzz. Cheese it. You, uh, these pillars are big enough to hide behind, and you can hear somebody. Yeah, they're, they're, coming, they're coming from the direction of the. They're coming from the direction of the halls of eternal life. They're coming from the north. But everyone, group self check again. Uh, oh, filing boy. my, filing my. Can I cast guidance on myself? Nope. <laughs> but I'm oh. a willing creature. Yeah, that sucks. You can't cast guidance on yourself. Hmm. Oh no. Alrighty, so that's a good one. Ben, what'd you get? Seventeen. Hey, Flitz. Eleven. Oh, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> Kenna. Ben. Oh, that's rough. Uh, <laughs> coin. Twenty-two. Oh, there we go. Currently two for two. Druck. Twenty-nine. Oh. I'm really missing my expertise. Just a reminder: natural twenties count for two successes, net ones count for two fails. Dex. Fourteen. Oh, that sucks, buddy. Uh, did I do everybody? Six? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's an even split. All right, cool. You all successfully hide behind pillars. That's all there really is to hide behind. Um, unless someone wants to submerge in the rainwater. It's only knee deep, though. Um, but you can hear someone approaching. They're not talking, they're, and they're not breathing. You can't hear them breathing. It's like I said, it's quiet down here. You don't hear breathing. Um, but you all kind of see coming from this northern tunnel this uh where is it in my notes because it's really fucked up <laughs> um a human who's been flayed all over like their teeth are just in a constant grin because there is no flesh around their like no lips uh their eyelids have been removed uh they've been scalped in places and they're wearing these like red robes uh no arms and they're wearing a golden amulet around their neck. You can't really get a good look at it, but they're just slowly walking through this, and they're looking around. They're not undead, but they're just lumbering through here and looking around. And their eyes are constantly, no, no eyelids. Their eyes are, like, dried, you can see. And so you get the sense they're not super perceptive because their eyes are all, like, crusty. Mm -hmm. um, and they kind of stop in the middle of this uh, cistern, and you're all kind of like, we'll say, in a circle around this thing. Uh, and it's kind of. Like cronk in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An yeah. <laughs> uh, group. And <laughs> this thing just. This, this, this human stops um, and it kind of just looks around. And now that it's gotten close, you can see it also has no nose. The nose has also been removed. And it just starts going. I'm looking around. And then. And then it turns. Uh, cool. Can I cast a uh, hold person on it? Okay. Uh, fails because it is not a humanoid. It just. Uh, can I? Uh, it looks like a human, but it's not a humanoid. Hold person re requires uh, a humanoid. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. You did. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, oh. Yep. Okay. 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 It counts like an aberration or a monstrosity or something. Yeah. Then yeah. Um, turns. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then just keeps walking. I mean, does that have a vocal component to it? Oh, you know it. Okay, so it, said... it turns, like I said, it's not very perceptive. It turns in that direction and starts slowly Ooh. walking towards where you're hiding. Walking towards you. It's walking towards coin. Like the direction, it can't, it, it looks like it can't see coin, but it's walking in that direction. Uh, yeah. Flit steps out and is going to cast Levitate on it. Okay, what's the save on that? Uh, it's like 18 con. Uh, six so it just <laughs> rise <it's like, laughs> up towards the so, ceiling uh what do you what's everybody else doing i mean this thing's just like levitating in the air i guess i'm just gonna say oh do we kill it what's going on and coin you got a good look at it because it's directly above you but it looks like it can't see you and you look up at its eyes its eyes are completely blind 
and around its neck is a golden amulet in a spiral of five dragon heads, the symbol of Tiamat. Uh, Can I pull the target a bit closer to us to get it kind okay, of you're dragging range. along the ceiling, just like. I, I was going to. May I try and cut the amulet off? Uh, I'd be about ten feet up in the air, so you could you could fly up and just. Yeah, or okay. uh, unclick unclick the thing. Now, how long does levitate last for? Us? Ten minutes. Okay. So you can unclick and you can cut the amulet off and it falls into the... It's made of gold. Uh, actually, mm -hmm. it's... You think it's gold, the way it's reflecting off the light. And when mm -hmm. it drops, you can see it's made of, like, this rusted, almost-looking iron that's got, like, blue tinges to it. And it's just a type of iron you're not familiar with. Spit, and then I go up and fly up and try and figure out what this thing okay, is. So Corn cause... Flitz is holding it in place of levitate, and it's just like... Rawr, rawr. Does there saves that it gets? Okay, cool. So it's just like... Rawr, rawr, yeah. And you, like, fly up, and you can tell. It can't see you. It's all. It's basically going off hearing hearing alone. Um, it is... You look at it, give me a... Medicine. Medicine. Nature or survival check to try to, try to deduce whatever the fuck this is. You medicine. Wasting these natural twenties. Not, not for this. Not for this instance. Twenty twenty four. Okay, so it's twenty four. So you fly up and you're examining this natural twenty twenty four, and you can see between its like where its lips have been removed, in its mouth is a forked reptilian tongue, like a dragon, kind of like a draconic tongue. Um, its eyes are human eyes that are just you know open to exposed to the elements at all times, completely just cross it over and blind from just not being able to blink um you can also see an incision like the robes that they're wearing are don't like cover the torso they kind of leave the torso exposed a little bit and you can see an incision right on the breastbone that's been like healed with magic and it's left a scar that kind of so, like where the heart would be so it's not undead not undead and it's not a humanoid it's not a humanoid and it's blind yeah and it's not speaking a language. It just, it just sounds like it's making it just sounds like it's making noises, like animal noises. Uh like just like weird noises. Uh yeah. The incision in the chest, no hair, it's bald. Um Yeah. Um, from what you were describing was this thing It looks like it was a human at one point. Yeah, and I, I, I'm also wondering, does it look like it was... I mean, you're kind of describing... I, I'm not trying to put this on you, but it sounds like you're describing someone who was... There's a, a thing that was... That is... That at one... Like, it was tortured. Yeah? Uh, okay. Looking at it, uh, everything that happened to it happened post-mortem, and then it was... Brought to life, but it's not undead. I am trying. So to it's like some type. So you're. Out. So what you're. What you're kind of getting at, Justin, is that this thing isn't undead. There was a process. Yeah, it's not that undead. Was it's done. It's, so you know, it's not undead. You know, it's not humanoid. And you, yeah, that's what you know. Are there any entities that are attached to Tiamat? Like all sorts, mostly devils. No, basically Abishai and dragons, okay. and some human. And this doesn't look like either of those. <laughs> and some cultists who worship Tiamat. Okay. This just looks like some fucked up experiment that somebody did. Like I said, this looks like it was at one point a person, but whatever it is, it's not pinging as humanoid and it's not pinging as undead. And like I said, coin. All you really see, you can tell that these wounds were done post mortem. But again, when you look at this thing, it's not undead. Uh, and there's this, like, like I said, an incision mark where the heart rests, like right on the sternum, and it's been healed by magic, but it's still scarred. Which we'll say you would know must be would be like whatever caused that wound was so necrotic and evil that normal magic couldn't heal it fully, and it left this big, like, just gross scar. Like it's almost like wet, the scar. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like on the ceiling, like rah, 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 being like held up with levitate. And did you roll for your wild magic? Yeah, I did. I rolled a ninety-seven. Excellent. Fireball. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, this thing is just on the ceiling. It's like it's like lashing, but like I said, it has no arms. So it's just like trying to bite. So it's actively it is actively yeah. trying yeah. to attack. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Um. Like it can hear things going on, and it's just like lashing, like biting at the air, like like, it, you, like how, that's how you tell. How you tall can. is the ceiling? Sorry, uh, it's about ten feet up from the ground. Oh, okay. I could hold this for about uh, I don't know, another handful of minutes or so. You should just get going. Yeah, you I'm going to, to go. take a small bit of rope, probably about that much give it a thing okay. so it can't bite anyone or make too much more noise so it's got a thing okay ah. sure do we want to bring it i was going to put it on the other side of the door i yes but uh also we may be back this way again all right and i assume something would be preferable to not uh have it pop out of somewhere and try and bite us Okay, uh, Flitz is going to, because I can control, I can move it up to as long as it's within the range, yeah. uh, the sixty feet. So he's going to move it around so that it levitates and flips, and just he's going to try to disorient it a little bit. Okay, as you I know flip it, it visually can't see. As you flip it, uh, its robes do kind of like when you're like, I don't mm -hmm. know, holding somebody up by their ankles. The robes kind of like descend, and they're nude, but there's nothing like a Ken doll um, and in terms of like their feet no toes but instead uh, surgically implanted to where the toes would be are like hooked brass claws resembling that of a dragon like someone just put them there Is it push it 60 feet down all along um, the ceiling He's gonna just push it all the way down the the way that they came, okay. so towards out the, that door. the Autuk. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And try to make it hit as it falls. He's just gonna drop the spell and try to make it make as much noise. Okay. I mean, that Autuk was like an hour away down that tunnel. Oh, that's so. true. But you do that, and it just poof, and it gets up, but it's like sixty feet away, and it turns and slowly starts like lumbering in the direction where it heard noise, just going. Bleh, 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 bleh. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I have a thing. I have a thing. Oh. Uh, how far away? Oh, wait, never mind. 60 feet. It's, uh, once it moves, uh, like, once it's moved, like, so it's 60 feet away from us? Yeah. And it's moving towards us, right? Yeah, just where I heard last heard sound. Okay, I'm gonna let it move 10 feet, and then I'm gonna use the Ring of Telekinesis, uh, which is silent. Yep. And just splash around in the water, ten feet behind it at the maximum range, just making a bunch of okay, noise. Okay, cool. It turns around, and you don't see it because it turns, but you hear what sounds mm -hmm. like bones distending, like its jaw distending, and then you just hear a, <laughs> and just echoes down the tunnel. This like cacophonous moan, and then it just it just starts lumbering off in that direction. All right, come, let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Good job, good smile. But now you know smart. they are, they rely on hearing only. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. And it came from the direction you're going. One from down. the from the halls of eternal life. But yeah, you're about 100 yards away from the catacomb entrance. Jeez. You're muted. muted. So that was one of the most horrible things I've ever seen in my life. Let us keep on moving. Or perhaps some of you, once there are uh, quite a foot sure, should uh, be on the carpet during this, just in case more of those are around. Would, uh, yeah, Justin, would floating on the carpet, just like up and away from everything, 
be a, like give a benefit for stealth, especially for hearing based. Uh, there still be stealth checks, but I mean, because there's like still like breathing involved. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't really know. Again, narrow the, the tunnels are also kind of narrow in places, so mm. up to y'all. Gotcha, gotcha. And it's it's it gets slower the more people that are on it, so depends right. if you want to be super super slow and to stealth successfully on the carpet you'd probably have to like get off the carpet because the carpet would stick out yeah. from any hiding place yeah so probably yeah because there might be something there might be some things that detect visually down here and yeah it's a little cumbersome and easy to spot okay. probably best, best just keep it put away for now alright so you head in the direction where it came from okay mm -hmm. yeah all right. Yes. Now I'm scared. <laughs> now I'm scared of this place. <laughs> Was Dork gonna do some? No, I'm just trying to think of like. So right now we are above the Dawn Ward. You're under the Dawn Ward. Below. Or below. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Below the Dawn Ward. Mm -hmm. It's above us. You're gonna be in the cat. Yeah. You're gonna be entering into the catacombs. Yeah. And then. So right now, our inclination is thinking that whatever happened perhaps had something to do with the catacombs. Um, anyway, sorry, but I'm, um, I'm, I'm talking out of character. Just to, uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Does Ven, though Ven will be like something came from the catacomb, the direction, of, or actually, because Ven's not entirely familiar with where we're going, so Ven will actually ask Coin quietly. Is that where the catacombs are? Uh, yes, sir. Just uh, do we go sneakily uh, in this uh, specific uh, direction, and we should come on it in just uh, you know not too long. Is there anything else in that direction? Uh, no. Uh, as far as I know, uh, I have never seen whatever the hell that was behind us before so right but what I'm asking is uh, so that thing definitely came from the catacombs yes the catacombs that I have sealed off the catacombs that are full of corpses and that thing is made from a corpse I am grasping the urgency and uh, frankly um, that makes my guts go nuts right now that is you've turned my stomach into a pool of uh, molten stew uh, with that very astute observation so um, yes we will be moving forth in a uh, yeah, this is uh, real, um, real yakamak we're about to walk into. Seems yes. like it. Okay. Uh, I've... Not much longer. You get to a portion of stone wall, and there's a closed brass gate. Uh, and it says catacombs, no entrance permitted. And it's covered in like six padlocks. Meaning, and you can see the footprints, like kind of like those footprints that have like the little claws on them from that thing. It definitely came through this door and somehow closed it up when it came out. It found the keys. How did it, um,. Do you think its toes are keys? Or, or someone or someone brought it down here and released it. Uh, uh, looking through the bars, let look, me. looking through the bars, you don't see any other footprints from anybody else. Let me let me see what's going on here. <laughs> Maybe you were too wrong. I feel uh, like my toes as keys <laughs> theory is pretty strong. So, Druk, what'd you say? Uh <laughs> Uh, you know you might be onto something there and he's going to look around and try to try to see if there's any like 
uh, kind of sense that people were touching the locks or that there was like something going on other than just the footprints like anything else that okay. might tell us what happened uh, here. investigation check dc 20 okay um can i also start casting detect magic you may oh uh i fail it okay. i have minus one uh, you so i fail can't it. really tell i i don't you even just see roll, you just see footprints so. in the muck yeah but you uh, came to the door i had the door open if only I had that headband. That sucks. Uh, Kenna, you're doing detect magic? <laughs> yeah. You detect necrotic magic directly in front of you behind the door. Like, it's like a overwhelming sense of necrotic magic pinging off of everything in the catacombs. But not the door. Holy fuck. Um. And that's just within a 30 foot radius. Or 20 foot radius so yeah yeah it's just like um, boom necrotic you guys have seen the weird shit i can do right um we've noticed imagine, imagine that uh times 100 past that door and I mean, that's just oof. within 30 feet what it's literally everywhere <sighs> i don't believe the door is trapped but anything past it is just soaked in wait, necrotic wait, magic. Alright, so if what we just saw there is you know, going on down here, do, do we do any I I don't have anything I can prepare for this type of thing. Do any of you I I mean I can try dispelling some of this, but it's gonna take up a lot of my energy. I mean, it depends on what's what it is that you'd be. Dis we don't want to just dispel things. Yeah. We don't know if it's um, worth dispelling. As you're standing here, as you're standing here through the door, like through this barred door, it's just bars. Oh, and it's just bars. Okay. On the other side, you can hear. It. And yeah. you see something a, a similar one, but this time a dwarf in in stature and appearance. <laughs> Same, everything done to it. Um, uh, approaches the door. Back up. Back up. Am I sensing any necrotic Wait, the magic door on opens? Door yeah. As it approaches. The locks all come undone. The door swings open and it just lurches forward. <laughs> Uh, do I get and anything? And the door starts to close. Uh, Telekinesis. All right, this thing stops. Oh, you can do it without making a noise. Yes, I can. Okay, the door. Uh, you, you're holding the door shut. No, I hold the door. I catch it before it closes. Yeah, that's what I mean. You hold it like that's what I mean. Yeah, I'm holding it open. Yeah. Okay, so you hold the door open. This thing is standing there, and it just it goes, and then it goes. But you're all covered in fucking sewer muck, so it just, and it just continues yeah. forward, and it stops in the middle of the. It just keeps going. Am I getting any necrotic magic pinging from this dwarf? No. Okay. Detect magic doesn't reveal if spells are affecting a creature. Mm. Identify does, not detect magic. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, and it, this thing made a chirping noise and the door opened. But again, no one understands whatever it's saying. And, uh, I speak it... small beast, and you said no, it sounded like no. it was making. Oh, uh, <laughs> and uh, Ven, Ven, how long does telekinesis last? Uh, let me check. Because you're currently holding the door, you're currently holding the door open with telekinesis. Yeah. It. Um, uh, can I just ask a clarification? Uh, looking at the spell minutes. description, okay. um, if you sense any magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object okay, that so, bears. Magic. So you're using your action to do that. Yeah. Cool. Nothing. No, okay, so that thing's not cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so the necrotic energy is in there, but not coming from the creatures, it seems like. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it came out towards us, we all backed up, and then it just kind of came out, sniffed, turned around, and it was just kind of standing there? Yeah, it's just kind of standing there looking around like... <laughs> like it's communicating, and then it's looking like nothing's responding to its communication. It's... <laughs> and you see it kind of 
I don't know how to describe this. It gets down on all fours if it's as if it had all fours. And Ooh, it's, 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 so it's just like hovering yeah, like and it, this? Yeah, it's like planking. Uh, oh. And it, it moves its head a little bit and its tongue comes out. And the tongue starts like tasting the air. And just going... <laughs> like making like weird trilling, chirping noises. Like... <laughs> oh, fuck. And um, then... 30 feet of... Oh, not done yet. And then it <laughs> submerges in the liquid completely under the water. Just... Oh. Okay. But it is now it's past a... us, basically? Yeah, it's past units out of sight now. Because it went into the okay. dirty water and it can't be seen. When it, you can just see ripples it, in the water as it's like squirming away. When it uh, submerged, can Druk like, keep an image in his head of the type of pattern it left on the surface of its when of the water when it did that uh or because it, it's not really water it's like a muck uh right? to try to keep so that I in to try like, to memorize that make history straight intelligence. you know like yeah you know how like yeah. mud skippers will leave yeah. like a pattern uh make just mud. a straight intelligence check to try to memorize that because it's based on memory and yeah. i thought it'd be tracking stuff no, this is gonna be memory to... based all right well, if the DC is higher than 20, I fail it. Roll for it. We'll find out. Okay. 10. Yeah. I think you got it. Okay. <laughs> and then you see it about maybe 30 feet away, kind of where the explosion was. Uh, it surfaces again and tastes the air again before going back down into the liquid. But the door is, it's like 60 feet away. Ven, you're holding the door yeah, with the telekinesis. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to gesture back in that direction. Uh, okay. Everyone makes way. stealth checks for this because you're walking through water. So stealth checks, everybody. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know if this helps at all, but Coin is probably going to just do a hop and then a. Yeah, you, yeah you're fine. Slow. So don't worry. You know what? For you, hop, you're still hopping out of the water, which can make a noise. So stealth check for everybody, anyways. For sure. Yeah. I just wanted to. Remember, these things are all. These things look like they're. They base their stuff on hearing and tasting the air with their weird tongues. So, I Ben. Ten all night. <laughs> ben, what'd you get? Uh, with advantage, twenty-one. Nice, Kenna. Seven. That's rough. Uh, coin. Uh, a flirty twenty. Also, if anybody gets a natural twenty or a natural one, please say so. Uh, Druk. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Flits. Twenty-one. Shit, Dax. That one. <laughs> That's two fails. Oh fuck! But however, the success is still maintained, and you all get through the door that opened from and that being held open by Ven's telekinesis. And do you drop it, or do you? I'm gonna use it to close the door. Yeah, I'm gonna use it to gently close the door. Okay. Er, actually, hold on. I'm going to. And yeah, by the way, I have as a reminder, kind of. You did not detect detect magic on that door, so you do not know how the fuck that thing opened it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meaning there was no there was no there was no arcane lock on it. It just opened. Yeah. In that do that. It's just sort of fucking wizard. What is the ground and like walls around the uh, door made of? Stone, just like stone carved cobblestone. Not cobblestone. Okay. Like is... Dark stone. Right, like blocks with like mortar in between. Yeah, like you know you're in the Paris catacombs. Yeah. Uh, is there like a significant gap between bricks anywhere? Uh, basically, what I want to do. Investigation check. Okay, because basically what I want to do is just. I have a spare dagger, basically just like stick a dagger okay. in there to like pop yeah. the Invest door open oh. so it doesn't. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just kind of yeah, like a place to wedge that in so it yeah. mostly closes, but just like doesn't. Not enough to click shut. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't want so, this like, thing we to can click shut down. behind okay. us. Okay, you do that. Yeah, we want to be able to leave. You do that. There is a lot of strain, but it seems okay. to be partially open slash closed for the time being. Okay. And you can see that thing still through the door, looking around and tasting the air, and then every oh so often it dips back down into the water. And, like, okay. this water is two feet deep, and it's completely submerging itself. <laughs> oh, just laying down. I hate that. This it has so no much. arms, so it can just, like, slither. Mm. But you're now inside this entrance, and, yeah, there's alcoves, like, you know... Think like the Skyrim catacomb dungeons you can find. Mm -hmm. uh, you go immediately through this gate, and you're just looking at alcoves piled with fucking bodies wrapped in cloth. 
Uh, none of you have been in the catacombs. Ven, you probably never were in the catacombs because um, you mm. were all based on just healing people. Um, but it is just directly in front of you is, an, is a wall about 30 feet wide and it's filled floor to ceiling. The ceiling in here is much higher than the previous room. The ceiling in here is about 60 feet high. Uh, and this al- um, and there's about maybe 50 bodies just in this portion of the wall alone, just stacked. Not like on top of one another, but they're neatly like placed into the alcove with some respect. Some bodies, there are some empty spaces where there once were once was a body or not a, none, a body hasn't been claimed for this spot yet. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's this wall. And then on either side of this wall are staircases going up and staircases going down. Uh, all right then. So, we're... And in here is completely dry. Uh. And not lit. We're just gonna... We're doing this, uh, bounty to find the remains of someone or find someone, correct, that went down here? Person who came down here, yes. Yeah, for so a, do we see, really quick? It do is, we see or hear? Right. It is pitch black. Sorry, here. it is pitch black in the catacombs. Okay. okay. Uh, do we do we see or hear any more of those things around? Anyone who's listening can make a perception check. Uh, I am as a because uh, there could be a lot of echoes, so passive perception won't help out exactly. Yeah, in situation. Could, because because we know that they don't use their sight very much. I'm actually yeah. Going lights to... lights wouldn't harm you if they're like they're patrolling, but and you don't know what else is in here. Uh, but you would know that lights m- might be safe because they're all based on hearing. Yeah, uh, that's the only thing we know so far. So I'm gonna go and ahead they can and... do really weird stuff with their bodies. <laughs> but... uh, I'm going to uh, activate the scimitar of sharpness and do bright light in a 10 foot radius okay Dax you can see now 10 feet oh thanks to god cool so yeah Dax just so... kind of like blinks a couple times just like... okay so because I forgot it was pitch black in here that's when the light comes on you see you're about five feet away from just a wall of bodies in this alcove but they're neatly placed in like I said and there are portions where there hasn't been a body placed yet and then 30 foot wall and then on either sides of this wall uh, staircases that go up and staircases that go down. They do not spiral. It's just ascent, descent. And like I said, no lights on. No torches or anything. You can see like torches where their torches would be placed, but they're not lit. Meaning that probably whatever needs to be down here, patrolling, doesn't need to see anything. Which means, yes, they are, they do have blind sight. <laughs> do... Where would a so the bodies? This looks more like just stacked up bodies. Yeah, like right? like you know how you played Skyrim, right? Yeah. You know, Sorry, how, you know when you're, so I'm trying to vision it. You know how when you're in like the catacombs and the drawer. Yeah, they have like that. Like, okay, that's what it's like. Okay. Do are there Book any shows. kind of nameplates or, uh, or like so, yeah, actually, indicators? every single one has a nameplate and a, a date of birth and a date of death. So it's, it's the more contract? like a mausoleum then. Yeah, but also catacombs. Okay. And a pile of bodies. Okay, and I was envisioning just a pile. Of yes, bodies. me too. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, it's just a little I more. It it's a little gotcha. more respectful to the dead. Yeah. Minus cool. what you've seen, uh, and also some of the bodies are no longer wrapped in sheets because they've decayed so much. It's just skeletons, or there's just mm-hmm. no body remaining because they've decayed so much. To just like dust. Does, does the contract have the name of the? Yep. Person that requested the contract, like full yep. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the person who. Request of the contract is named Carrig Crow. Uh, he didn't mention his brother's name, but his name is Carrig Crow. No, but if they're visiting the mom, maybe that would be a place to start. So, yeah, you know, you're probably looking for somebody called Crow. Crow. C R O W E. Okay. That's and they, okay. they'd nice. probably they, they'd have a human. They'd be a human. Yeah, she was, <laughs> so, we are looking for someone with the last name Crow. Do you think their mother's name was Cheryl? Do you think? No, they just. Uh, Sing a songwriter. Hard. I'm gonna oh. cast uh, True Polymorph on coin. No. And Into a crow named Cheryl. Like I said, this is not gonna be a nice place. And walking up the stairs from down below, you can see another one of these things. Just ah, blah, 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 blah. this one looks like they're once a tiefling. Not your mother. Then, 
Uh, but they're a tiefling. Uh, oh, I... They walk up. And that they, was my mother. And they, <laughs> while you're standing here and like looking around, this one just, just comes up the stairs quietly and just moves through your group towards the door. And it kind of cocks his head while just staring at the door. Oh, the door that's. <laughs> oh, because it. Chilling. Oh, because it, it, it's not, it won't open for it. It came up the stairs, right? Yeah. I'm just going to. And it's just like. It goes. I'm going to telekinesis push the door open. Interesting. You see its tongue come out. Mm -hmm. Taste the air. Proceeds forward. Okay, and then I'm gonna uh, let the door, like, let the door, let the door okay. naturally swing shut it just, behind it. It just posts up outside the door and doesn't move. Okay. Uh, can I cast a secondary light source with light? Does that cost? Does that have vocal components? Be aware it, of your vocal I component don't, spells. I don't believe. Why does everything have vocal components? <laughs> they're spells. Curse <laughs> you, dot. Magic playing a sorcerer. Subtle spell. I subtle have spell. subtle spell. Exactly. That's why I took it. Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> and also, Druk has light on the sword that he's wielding. Yeah. yeah it is verbal. Right. What can I cast that doesn't have. Also, Druk's verbal? trying to speak, so let's do that. Uh, and Ven is like, don't, because the, th the thing's like right there. Yeah, it's right, right by the door. It's like, How far it's away? Five feet behind the door. Posting up. The yeah, it's like right there. So. Door. Okay. What if we go down? Or up? Down. We go down. Yes? Yeah. Okay. You're going down? Getting confirmed from everybody else, yeah. That's where it came up from, right? Yeah. It came up. Okay. Which means there's one less of those things down that way, we know. Yeah. Okay. It's again, you just walk, keep walking down, and it's just more alcoves with bodies in them. Right. Um, if, if, if it seems like we can find a moment to speak, uh, don't we want to kill these things? Won't they hurt people? don't know but we know that if we start a fight with them it may attract all of the other ones our priority is getting out of here alive so we want a choke point where they're all clustered into one space no i if, I, I would say we avoid fighting them entirely unless we have to yes i, I avoid it as much as possible remember I... it's not our job to to kill and execute right. these things this is an information I, gathering mission. Okay, I love all of you, but I've I've worked with you all of you long enough to know that stealth doesn't last that long. We're going to try this time. Because if we are found out by anyone up there, we're going to jail and Dax is getting executed. Yep. Yep. Um but you keep descending. And do you have another teleport spell ready? I, I do, yes. Okay. okay. Maybe once, just keep that once in we back pocket. Once we find out everything we need, I just need one minute and we can get the hell out of here. Where are the priests? You sent them to send you sentry? Excellent. Yes, I sent them to do sentry. They should be coming back in a few minutes. Is that coming from down, down below? below? Yeah, and you can see you can see like lant you can see like lantern light. And um, coming from just like a, like I said, it's just walls, corpses, walls, corpses, and it's just coming from the next level down. You can hear talking. You can see there's just a brief flicker of uh, lantern light, and just two voices talking to one another, and not in hushed tones. They're talking normal speaking volume. Mm -hmm. Do any of these voices sound familiar to y'all? Ven, you can make a uh, Ven, make mm -hmm. a history check. To recall if you've heard these voices before. Okay. 24. They sound familiar to people you worked with, like you saw occasionally when you worked in the temple. Mm hmm. Not that you wouldn't be able to, like, pinpoint their names or anything, but the voices just register, like, oh, yeah, these people worked in the temple with me at some point. Mm hmm. 
Um, I am going to put a hand on Druck's shoulder and then kind of like, I'm going to go up so I can like cup my hands okay. around his ear and like the tiniest little whisper like completely contained in my hands. So like just loud enough for him to hear in his ear. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll say it full volume here so that you all can hear yes. me. Um, but I'm going to ask, would you like to go down? Would you like to go down there and take a look? I can make you invisible. Okay. And then I'm going to subtle spell, okay. cast Good greater idea. invisibility on Druk. Okay. So Druk just gone. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to make my way down there and scope it out. All right. Self check with advantage. Mm -hmm. 20. 20. Okay. With you, advantage? You go down the stairs. And you can see, because like I said, invisibility, you can still make noise. Um, and you can see. Uh, there's this young dwarf man. Young dwarf could be anywhere below 200 years old. Um, orange beard, kind of braided, slicked back. Uh, he's just wearing priestly garments that look like the ones Ven has in his possession. I mean, you've probably seen Ven's vestments, I think, at, mm -hmm. at one point. But Briefly these one point, yeah. these ones look like the ones to our math in, but have been <laughs> modified in some capacity. They are now red and gold, the colors of Tiamat, and they were also wearing the amulets that those weird things were wearing, and they're talking amongst themselves. And, they're, and they're, yeah, they're just saying, yeah, the and then he's talking to a human woman uh, with brown hair tied into a bun, uh, also in the same getup. Uh, on their sides, you can see long swords, and you can see, that's about it. And they're talking, and they're just saying yes, I and also holding lanterns. And yeah, she says, yeah, the sentry should be coming back from the scouting in a few minutes. Luckily, they caught the guard the other week, so that was good. Um, hopefully no one else comes down this way. All right. Uh, well, if we hear anything, we should probably report it to Barnier. Let him know. And they turn around, and they start walking up the stairs to where your friends are. To where are. they are? Yeah. Oh, backstab. All right, make an attack with advantage. Yep. I gotta, I gotta do it. They're heading right towards you. Which There's one? No dwarf it. or uh, human? The one who's in the back. They're both, they're um, both side by side. Okay. Um. Do any of them? Do both of them look like fighters, or does one of them have the telltale signs of like a component pouch or something? Both of like them, that? like I said, all you saw in them was long swords and priestly robes with amulets. Uh, cool. Uh, then I will go for the strongest looking one. To war for female woman, pick your pick, pick. They both look like they're both the same capa capabilities. All right, the tallest one. The human woman. Okay. Yeah, and I'll try to do a slash across the back of the neck to sever the amulet connection. Like I said, make an attack with advantage. Okay. Nice. Uh, wait, why is that only? Wait, I don't get that. Weird. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fifteen. Okay. Uh, that. Why is that? this 15 let's look i'm just weirded out because this scimitar of sharpness only has like i don't know why well, i'm not regardless i don't want to get hung up because like i said we don't have a lot of time tonight yeah so yeah, no it's fine yeah go ahead uh 15 hits cool oh okay all right so damage then Woo. okay uh that's a total of uh, 26 damage. How do you kill that person? Because you cannot do that non-lethally. Yeah. The... Yeah, how do you do it? Uh, yeah, just uh, right, like I said, uh, across the, the neck, but down, so to slice where the amulet was. All right. Good drop. Body just... Poof. The other guy... Whoa! 
and surprise rounds. So whatever anybody else wants to do, we're not gonna roll for initiative because, like I said, we're I, I like... want to not. Yeah, you're like ten feet. You can see them. They they got to the steps when Druk did this, so you can all see them. Oh, so the oh, so they were so, like they're about to look you up see, at us. You don't see Druk appear, but you do see the woman just <laughs> drop dead. Yeah, well, Druk doesn't appear with greater invisibility. Oh, that's right. So Druk appears, and the woman drops dead, and the dwarf like looks. What the oh, fuck? I, I I don't appear. That's what I said first. No. Yeah. So Druk, like I said, Druk doesn't appear first. And then someone, yeah, I thought yeah. somebody said he does, but he doesn't. So Druk doesn't appear. You just see the woman fall dead on the ground, and the dwarf doesn't have time to really react. He's just like, "What the fuck was that?" And then whatever anybody else wants to do to this guy. I'm not like I said. I'm not rolling initiative. I want to keep this snappy. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm actually going to. So okay, I'm gonna do this in full view of everybody else. They can like so they can see I'm casting a spell. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm going to cast major image of a basically just a stone wall, like basically of a stone wall blocking off the the passage as though the passage dead ends right in front of us. Okay, you do know there's another passage on the other side. Yeah, I basically want to block. I basically want to make it so he can't see us. Okay. Um, but it's an illusion, and with major image, I'm also going to use my other subtle spell for this, so he can't hear my voice. Probably uh, but I'm letting them... the other sentry things mm -hmm. might hear. Yep. Uh, the thing with uh, major image is this. Uh... Oh, I know because this will make. Okay, I'm casting this at sixth level then, so that it doesn't require concentration. Okay. Uh, major image, you can see th if you know it's an illusion, you can see through it. Okay. So he can't see us, but we can see him. Okay. And that means that he cannot I, I, if speak with dead is cast on his body, he can't identify us because I know this place <laughs> is full of clerics. Alright, and they do not need to speak to, they refuse the other time, speak of dead people will refuse to speak to their killers, so all right, mm -hmm. so you do that. Uh, yes. So everyone else can see through the coin. You got. You have the next. You have the next highest deck. So is coin. Like, just I'm just gonna ask people to do it. Coin, what are you doing? I'm you see, probably. You see the woman drop dead, and then Ven throws up a wall that you can see through. I am going to ready an action, uh, for. Like I'm gonna say, if anyone's uh, casting spells that have rebel components, you're gonna kind of nix the stealth that's going on. Like this guy's surprised, so he can't shout out yet. Uh, like any spells that have vocal components, you're gonna kind of take away the stealth that you have right now. He has, uh, so he has a, he has a, a amulet, yeah, amulet of Tiamat on, yeah, and he's looking to the side. But he's in the process of like looking to the side, like what the fuck was that? Yeah. Uh, then I. I guess I'm gonna try and move straight through. I don't know if this ups the difficulty or their AC, uh, but I. What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna try and take my sword and stab it straight through his neck. Okay, like, so try you, you and would pass kill. through the illusion, and he would then realize it's an illusion because someone's passing through a wall. Don't I'm going to ready. I'm going. To, I guess I'm going nah, to ready. If you're passing through an op, if like I'm gonna, I'm gonna ready my I mean, action. It makes sense at all. Like hold, I walk hold, through a hold wall. that action. That wall's probably yeah. not real. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna hold. Hold my action then, to aim for that kill if he okay. gets close to us. Like if, if he gets, if he gets within three feet. Okay. If he gets cool. within sniffing distance. Like I said, we're not. We're doing theater of the mind right now, so distance doesn't really matter. Uh, all oh, right. Okay. Uh, Ken, are you doing anything? Uh, no, I'm gonna wait for Druk to finish the job. Okay, Dex. I'm gonna keep the best capable to do it. You guys are trying to be sneaky, so what are you doing? Uh, De Dex is, uh, you know what? M holding an action in case something comes running right. this way. And just, just, a reminder, to, just to straight up, like, not punch him. Not okay. kill him. And also as a reminder, if you're holding an action, please tell me what the action is. So Dax is doing an unarmed strike, Coin's doing a sword thing, Kenna's doing nothing. Uh, I'm gonna hold a Toll the Dead. That, does that have vocal components? Keep him keep an eye on that stuff if you're trying to be stealthy. It does. Does it come into effect 
do the vocal components yes, come into effect? Because you're I'm casting a action? spell. Because you're. Okay. Yes, because you, okay. yeah, you have to concentrate on. Yeah, because you have to concentrate on holding a, the spell. Um, I'm gonna hold an ice knife, which does not have vocal components. It also explodes and makes noise when it hits. Uh, but it, it hasn't hit yet. Yeah, but it also explodes. So, all right, when Flitz, it does, Flitz, are you doing well, it? If, if I'm throwing it, I'm we're in still... combat. So. Flitz. Um, yeah, everybody else is like getting ready. He just drop watches this girl drop. Uh, he lifts up his finger with the copper ring and he points it at the dwarf that's kind of looking shocked and a draconic he says kneel for Diamant she comes for you command suggestion well it's just a, it's just like a scare factor maybe oh. I don't know <laughs> also coin out of habit does spit after you say Tiamat <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. so well, sorry that okay so now he knows that there are people behind this weird wall that disappeared out of nowhere why okay. It was behind a wall. We don't. Yeah, it a wall that appeared and here's someone go, and then Flitz say something. Well, All right. Well, yeah. Flitz is with so well, the message. It's well, whispered message to just the dwarf. Oh, it was oh, message. Oh, I'm no sorry. One, oh, it's I message. didn't realize you oh. message. I apologize. Yeah, it's the copper ring. It's a message. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Back on track. Now that's more. I thought you were just saying it out loud. It's like that's why. That is that is all more clear. Yes. Sorry. It's a message. Okay. He's just gonna... right into his brain. Yeah, he's, su he's surprised, so he doesn't get his turn. Druck again. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, Druck's gonna All swing right. at this guy with advantage because uh... you're invisible. Yep. Another fifteen. Uh, fifteen hits. And that's a uh... maths. Uh, 25. 25. He's still standing. No, 25. Oh, right there. Yeah, he's still standing. Uh, and then for my bonus action, uh, I will swing the Frostbrand short sword. Okay, so for damage... Since, it is, since yeah. they're both light and yeah. finesse weapons. Also, have you, you haven't been adding your fire damage on your sh sh short sword of sharp sharpness. As you hit, you see I fire have. just... <laughs> yeah. Because that happens automatically. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll yeah, roll a automatic. d6. Though. So you all watch as Drux swings the short sword of sharpness both times from the invisibility, and you can see fire just up here, just like a gout of flame. I rolled max, so okay. six so, extra on top of that. Uh, he just collapses over a smoldering with fire. And uh, when that happens, uh, you guys know how tall Druck is. Uh, you see, like, some embers and glow, like a glow coming from where his nose would be as you hear an exhale. Oh, yeah. Dork has a fucking crazy arm right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, both that. of them, both of the priests are just <laughs> dead and on the ground. Okay. Okay. What? Where did this wall come from? Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to... I I'm just going to use my action to just, like, turn it into... Uh, just like I'm gonna just turn it into like a brick that just like is on the wall basically just like clipped into the wall basically so it blends in just okay. another brick in the wall mm -hmm. should we should we hide should we hide these bodies I uh, yes I think so maybe in the uh one of the alcoves I was going to say in the chest because then we can talk to them later oh no one else and and then also no one else can question them all right. There is blood on the floor. I'll press the digitization. <laughs> does that, have, does that have vocal components? Does it? Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. Vocals okay, the back, yeah. you press it, you take the blood away. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Oh, nice. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. <laughs> From about uh, two floors down. Oh, boy. Shit. Shit. All right, let's get moving. Yeah, okay. Uh, but coin, just coin, coin. The chest. Chest, chest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the the dwarf. I'm gonna hold him up to the chest. I'm gonna say transfer. I'm gonna whisper transfer. It is a corpse, so it now is considered an object. So mm -hmm. that works. The chest just sucks the body in, like Jumanji. Somebody else. Somebody else. Yeah. Next, same. The other one. All right, yeah. Transfer. Okay. <laughs> one floor down. 
Oh, is it getting closer? Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I heard the vocal uh, components of press agitation. Yeah, Drux getting in position and, and is going to, going to see if he can't. Uh... Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to try something really quick. Cool. Uh, this spell doesn't require verbal components. Uh, I'm going to try. Uh, we heard their voices, right? You just heard a, a floor. No, no, down. we heard the voices of the people who were talking. Briefly. Before okay. they got killed. Uh, like maybe right. like I mean, we, six. We, we, a little bit, yeah. Listen to them talk for a little bit. Uh, in the, I'm going to use uh, Minor Illusion. And then in the dwarf's voice, I'm gonna have it. Are you subtle? Are down. you subtle spelling this as well? It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't oh, okay. need. It doesn't have verbal components. Uh, and then the dwarf's voice is just gonna say down the stairs, uh, "Get back to your post down there." All right, all right. Still coming. Mm. Okay, it's still coming. What do we do? I'll try the girl. He's she's gonna he's gonna minor illusion <laughs> the female's <laughs> voice to say he said to get back down there. Still coming. Now it's coming. You can see its head. Oh, yeah, back up. Okay. Uh. Ready to. Well, he's he knows that they go by sound, uh, so he's gonna try to keep his distance and use the crossbow. Instead. All right, make an attack roll. Okay. Uh, okey doke. We. Nineteen to hit. 19. Wow. That does hit. Okay. And is this uh, a magical crossbow? Yes. Uh, it's the uh, it's the Crimson Arc crossbow. Great. For a total of 41 damage. Cool. You hit it. You do not get surprised around on this because it did hear noises earlier, so I need everyone to roll initiative. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Finally, I rolled higher than a freaking 10. That was gonna be an at 20. Alright, I got everyone's initiative here. 19, 18, 8, 4, 20. What coin get? Rolling it now. Mediocre. Right. Ten. Well, <laughs> this thing rolled a twenty, and it's got a nice dex modifier. So, crossbow bolt hits it. How much damage was it again? Forty something. Uh, forty-one. Okay. Forty-one. It looks a little hurt, and it's just like, and then it lets out a barking like, right, 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 right. Uh, yep. which it can do as a bonus action, sentry, and then it's just gonna. Look in the direction where the crossbow bolt came from. Doesn't see anybody. It's gonna, and it gets down on all fours like again. Doesn't have any arms, and it shimmies along the floor real quick. It looks like it's got about like a fifty foot movement speed. Just <laughs> unhinges its jaw, looking up the staircase where it saw this in the vicinity of where this bolt came from, and it sprays acid, acidic bile in a thirty foot cone. So I need everybody, even those behind the illusion, to make a dexterity saving throw. Um, is this against poison damage? Nope. Are we within 10 feet of coin? Uh, everybody but Druck would be. Okay. Ooh. 16. 16. 12. 12. Uh, then you take 19 acid damage. Oh. And I need a concentration check for uh, uh, greater, greater invisibility. This doesn't count as a quote unquote attack, does it? Nope. It's just a. Nope. Well, we're good. All right. Uh, yeah, so then 19 acid damage. Kenna, what'd you get? 16. Uh, eight acid damage. Coin. Oh, uh, shooty boogers. Um, this is Dex, by the way. Yeah. Oh, come on, game log. Open up. Be cool. For God's sake. Goodness, gravy. There we go. Um, 14 total. Uh, 19 acid damage. Mm hmm. Uh, Dex. 
Unnatural 20. Mm. Eight acid damage. Druck. 21. None. Uh, Flitz. Six. 19, 19 acid damage. All right, action. That was its action. Bonus action. It's right. It's like right in front of Drock. Can't see Drock though, but it does have blind sight. I can't remember how blind sight works, but whatever. Um, Sam, do you remember how blind sight works? I believe it's just like they don't need sight to see. Yeah, they can, they can see. Just I believe they can see, see invisibility. Oh, yeah. thing. So no disadvantage on its attacks. Okay, cool. Uh, flits. This thing's like thirty feet down the stairs. Hmm. And it just did like a barking alarm kind of call and then sprayed acid up out of its mouth and did not. Oh, it did recharge that. Cool. All right. Okay. Uh, that wasn't nice. He didn't like that. Um... Shit. He's going to. Oh, God. It's cat's out of the bag already. Uh, he's going to throw some Eldritch Blast at this thing. Go for it. See if I roll shit this time. Uh, it's an unnatural twenty. That hits. Okay. Uh, for this, it's a plus four to that damage. So I'll just roll that really quick. Not great. Uh, Eleven for that hit. Hey, it drops. Oh. It dies. Just. Poof. <gasps> All right. Somebody transfer that. You don't have time, because the body just rapidly decomposes. Oh. Into like <sighs> nothing. Just. <laughs> And then evaporates. Oh. Like Sven, history or Arcana? Both are. And Flitz, you can do it as well. That is a dirty 20. That is a fiend, so discorporated. Oh, that's a full of demons, uh, y'all. <laughs> uh, Flitz, that discorporated, so technically didn't die. It just returned to wherever it came from. And if Ooh. it's part of Tiamat, it's a devil, not a demon. Okay. Oh, oh! I thought no. I thought Tiamat T- Tiamat's was... devils. Yeah, Abishai's oh. are de- Abishai's are devils, and those are what serve Tiamat. And Tiamat's from the Nine Hells, so it is devils. Well, oh, I thought Tiamat was imprisoned in the Nine yeah, Hells. Yeah, but she's her servants all come from the Abyss, usually, or from the Nine yeah. Hells, usually. Okay. Yep. Very uh, infernal with her stuff. I feel okay. like we. I feel like we have a good amount of information at this point. I think we should probably leave. <laughs> From like up down. Mhm, mhm. Uh, and uh, are we still there's a like a popping noise that went to a teleportation spell. You hear within. You can't tell if it's the floor above or the floor down. Just because the echo oh, is just. I'm just gonna start casting teleportation circle right where I am. Okay. What lovely casting that at? The fifth, the only level I have. Okay. Cool. You all hear someone all right. coming down the stairs. Um, this is going to greater. I'm going to try the visibility. Then, first, you hear someone coming down, and it's at a quick pace. So you guys, everyone's going to roll dexterity. We... Everyone's going to roll initiative again, because like I said, there's okay. going to be a lot of stuff happening, and some people right. quicker than others. All right, let's do it. Thirteen. Okay. Oh, nice. That's a uh, twenty for coin. Nice. Druck. Seventeen for. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's uh, a flirty twenty though. Okay. Druck got a twenty-one. Okay. Flitz. Seventeen. Ven. Oh. Uh, Fourteen. Okay. Dax. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Okay. So, cool. Then, you see Barnier come from the stairs from up above, and you cast Counterspell. Great. On somebody's invisible? I Counterspell him, fourth level. Ven's not invisible. He cast. I oh, Counterspell I Barnier. Oh. I did that. I was too late, I I but I'm going to Counterspell his Counterspell. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, roll, roll. What level are we casting today? It has to be fourth level. Roll for it. Uh, it's the spellcasting ability, so it's again. Great. This takes a minute to cast, and now we're in initiative. So Ooh, yeah, so it's gonna be shit. ten rounds of initiative. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. You counterspell his counterspell, but it's 
you're still fenced 10 rounds of him doing this and Cornier's mm-hmm. just like <laughs> yep oh. well there goes all of the stealth that uh, we did this whole time yep. and Van you can see Barnier's eyes are glowing in the dark mm. uh, cool that'll bring us to Druk oh I'm rolling up on this guy and hitting him go for it uh, I as wanna... you do his vision just turns to you like he can see you Great. Yeah. No, I imagine that my uh, greater invisibility dropped because Ven is doing a casting. No. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Spell. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. The greater casting and uh, casting spell long term does take concentration. That's right. Uh, so, yeah, I'm rolling up on him. Um, and I mean, I would shove him, but I don't. I only get one attack. So yep. I'm going to use it to do damage. Yep. Because. Uh, Ultimately, I, I would want to just push him so that he can't see Ven anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, push him out of line of sight. Yeah. But I'm just going to attack. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to attack him. Uh, and I think I'll be using the Frostbrand short sword Go because I don't have advantage. So, um, yeah. Boop. 13 to hit. Misses. <laughs> yeah, there it is. He, like, catches the blade with the palm of his hand, and it hits the palm of his hand, but doesn't seem to, like, cut into his flesh. He just... Ah, oh, that's fine. Um... <laughs> uh... Fuck. All right, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Sorry. All right. Uh, that'll bring us to... Oh, at the end of your turn, he's going to use a legendary action. Oh boy. And he's going to cast a spell. So use two of his legendary actions to cast... Let's go Divine Word. Nah, that's too early. Let's Besties, do... Besties, we may have bungled this. Let's do Finger of Death. Oh, boy. So he's he's at the top of stairs? or He's no, right behind not... everybody at the top of the stairs. Oh, okay. Because he came down. But he's going to cast Finger of Death on Druk. So, Druk, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. All right. Twelve. That fails. So you take... How does that spell work again? Where is my dice roller? Because I don't want to roll that many dice. Eh, whatever. Sorry. Dice roller. I'll just pull up a... Yeah, that's right. I'll just pull up a fucking... I'm just going to transfer all this to an encounter. Eh, okay. Let's see here. I'll just do this to make my life easier. Alrighty, so Druk, you take seventy-one points of necrotic damage. Uh, can I use my inspiration to try that again? Uh, <laughs> or is it too late? <laughs> it's too late because you know the outcome. <laughs> you said seventy. How many? Seventy-one. 71. So he just like um, points a finger at you and this beam of necrotic energy just courses through you. Yeah. I need to roll my, whatchamacallit, one second. My, my magic, sort of my crazy magic. Okay. Uh, that'll bring us to... That was Druk's turn, so coin. Uh, and how close are, am I to this? He's right this... behind you. Like 10 uh, feet, to within 10 feet. Alright, so I'm uh, gonna get within five feet of this fool and I'm gonna smash him down with my shield go for it use my bonus action uh, to shove him to the floor like your 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 goal Druk was to shove smash him, shove him backwards so that he can't see Ven anymore right yeah. so yeah I'm gonna shove him yeah so uh, what's what's that is that an athletics check or yeah it's uh... contested athletics alright cool Come at me. Uh, that's, that's a 10. 13. <gasps> Wait. So, what about that talisman? Yeah. Ability checks, right? This is, yeah. an, this is, checks. This is an attack roll, though. It's an ability check, are, though. Oh, no. Attack rolls aren't ability checks. Yeah, no. The but shield they, shove is an attack they, action to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that talisman uh, doesn't work yeah. on attack rolls. It, it's, a, it's ability checks. checks though. Yeah, but it's still using your attack action to do it. So it's still technically considered yeah. an attack. That's why okay. grappling is considered an attack. 
right. which is even though grappling is con contested uh, uh, ability oh, scores. Okay. I thought it was both. Nope. That's okay. So you gotta show him with a shield and he doesn't budge. Okay, well, I'm just gonna attack him then. Okay, so yeah, because you, you can do multi attack at this point. Indeed. And Druck is still up in this up in this guy's kitchen, right? Yep. Cool. It rolls so long on the thing. Ooh. So 31. That hits. Great. Awesome. So that is going to be... Get out of there. Come on. Uh, roll that damage. Oh, boy. This is taking forever. Okay, so that is uh, 17, and I'm going to smite with a third level spell. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. Get out of there. As you hit him, mm -hmm. as the sword's like coming down from above, we'll say, <laughs> when you hit him, you hit him higher up than he actually is, realizing that he's using an illusion to disguise his appearance. Oh, but what we're seeing is what normally looks like Barnier. Yeah. But I sense that there's a bigger thing. Yeah. Gross. Because the sword uh, comes down in an arc, and the blade hits above Barnier, and that's where you see the blood kind of... Yeah. Like, maybe, level, like... It's... This figure's probably eight feet tall. Cool. They're always eight feet tall, right? You'll see why in a second. So that's how much damage um, this does. Eh. Sorry, that's what 4d8 for a third level. Yes. Thank you. All right, so that's 23 for a total of uh, 40. Nice. Uh, damage on the first one and the second one. Oh, hold on. Concentration check will be a DC 20. Fails. The disguise drops. Mm -hmm. And coin, you're looking at the half dragon individual that you saw in the stable in your dream, the green half dragon, wearing plate half plate infernal half plate that looks like uh, that's the shoulder plates look like Tiamat's visage, and this is the one you saw talking to the sphere in your dream, and he's just like, oh, I wanted to keep that disguise, and all yeah, Ben, you just see the disguise of Barnier just drop. Oh, somehow that's a relief. <laughs> all right yeah i'm going to yeah i'm going to take another action and swing on this fool how many attacks do you have now three uh no this is uh th that's my second attack yeah, your shield because was your the second shield one your shield no, was no, your no, first no. one sword was your second uh point of order it was a used my bonus action as a shove oh, oh right. because right. i have shield right. mastery right right, right. yeah yeah which is yeah which yeah. is why i think when you said you, 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 in your action move you can't use the thing as a, a thing that was why yeah, i was still can't it's still because it's still considered for sure for be, sure yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah just semantically i wanted to make sure that okay was cool so you still have another attack then sweet great so 27 that hits right on i wish that yeah this rolled a little faster it does not roll fast so if you guys ever want fast rolls don't use D D beyond but roll, it's roll, nice roll it's convenient uh, I don't know why. Maybe my con internet connection is just garbage. But 16, uh, and then I'm going to use a second level smite. Oh okay. no! You know what? Forget that. Third level smite. We're gonna we're Four, gonna just 48 try. And... again. Okay. Yeah. So that's another third level spell. Nice. Uh, oh, as the disguise drops, you see in his hands, he's holding a flail, and each head of the flail is a head that resembles one of the heads of Tiamat. Uh, so that is. 19 plus 16, 35. Oh, so, nice. total of 75 damage nice. on this fool. Coins on those first beast. two. Anything else, coin? Um, That's your action, bonus action. That's about it. I think just a roar, just right in the stage. Okay, so <sighs> good. And he's going to look at you. How cute. Uh, Flitz. Okay, he's... But yeah, this Sorry. is this is the half dragon you saw in your dream coin. Just to reiterate, the one who was talking. To the yeah, spirit. for sure. Yeah, yeah, the one, okay. the one who was uh, there with the stable boy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So how close? How close did he end up getting to everybody? Ten feet. 
to anybody on the steps, which is everybody mm -hmm. now. So yeah. Um. He's gonna do it. Uh, he is going to. Oh, they need been alive. Uh, he's gonna cook and spell great invisibility. He's gonna counter spell it. What level is that? I have to roll for it. Fourth level. Okay. Uh, nineteen plus. Yeah. So, uh, counter spells your uh, greater invisibility. With it to sell slots. Uh, and then also, I need you to roll. I need you to roll percentile dice. Nope. That's gonna be rough. That's a fourteen. Okay. Roll another d one hundred. We're gonna get a wild magic surge now. <laughs> yeah. Why would we beat it? Uh, fuck, that's a thirty. Okay. Oh. I think I know. What I a teleport 30. I I know sixty it. feet to an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see. Okay. So the furthest you can teleport is thirty feet up the stairs or thirty feet down the stairs. That's as far as you can see. But I, if I go up the stairs, I can still see him. He'd have like three quarters cover because like gaps in the stairs Shit. and everything. Um, can I go about? You can fly, right? The ceilings are also sixty feet high, so if you can fly, you can. I'll, I'll, I could I'd let you to help work just directly up sixty feet. Up to you. I can't fly like uh, okay. right this second. Okay. Okay. Um, fuck. No, uh, he's gonna. Well, it says you teleport, so it's it has to happen. Yeah, um, it has to happen. You can always teleport and use your movement to. Has to yeah, he'll yeah. teleport. Yeah, he'll. Okay, teleport. so you watch his flip. Goes and casts a spell. <laughs> up the yeah, up the stairs. And then it's counter spell. Then he up the stairs. Yeah. Uh, and then you hear <laughs> trotting coming from the others. Excellent. Where he's just getting view of old boy, uh, and for an action he is going to because I was a bonus action. Yep. Throw three elders blast. Go for it. He does have three quarters cover if you're doing what you said. You oh, good do. duck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, that's 29 to hit on the second one. It was a 16 on the first one. 16 misses. The second, one, on... the second one hits. That is uh, 14. Okay. Four thunder damage. Nice. And fuck. Uh, 19. 19 mm -hmm. with three quarters cover doesn't hit. Great. So big bulky there. like half he's wearing big bulky like uh yeah, TMA uh, armor. Yeah. He's gonna skedaddle Okay. Because he didn't go all the way down. No, he, no, no. He's gonna skedaddle a little bit up so he could at least okay. kind of he can have okay. some cover. As you're skedaddling up, you can hear like the in the distance, not anywhere close, you can hear that. Uh cool. Uh Greek. Greek. remember those Ven, and then it'll be Kenna Dex. Okay, uh, we're not surviving 10 rounds of this uh, as things are, so uh, I just looked up how this works. Ben is going to break concentration on casting Teleportation Circle, which means it doesn't use the spell slot. Correct. It doesn't actually use the spell slot until it completes. Correct. Uh, so I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to turn to uh, this half-dragon guy. He also counterspelled it, I'm... so you actually don't have to do anything. Oh, no, he, that, never mind. Never no, mind. he didn't. Never yeah. mind. Um... And then, does this take a bonus action? I think this takes a bonus action. Yes. Okay. I spend my bonus action to do Divine Arcana. Okay. So that the next spell I cast has a plus two to its save to its spell save DC. Excellent. And then, which is going to bring up my spell save DC to nineteen. Excellent. And then I am going to cast Resilient Sphere on the half dragon to try and trap him in it. Okay. Is there a save for that? That's uh, DC nineteen Dexterity save. That's a 19 plus 1. Oh my god. I miss having a divination wizard. They're great. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I, was about, I was about to burn a legendary resistance there because I did not want that to happen. But... Ah, crap. So yeah, he... Okay. he uh, It like briefly encapsulates him and you can see like... I don't know. He just like... Breaks it. I don't know. Who fucking cares? Well, actually, so it's still... Hold on. Uh... Is, is, so it still appears. But he's just not in it. His, yeah, just not in it. So I guess I'll put it 
I guess I have to put it behind him because there's yeah. no room yeah, to yeah, put yeah. it uh, in between us. Yeah, and yeah. It'd be nice to have it as cover. But okay. Okay. Well, that was worth trying. It was. Because he also he used his counter spell already, so he couldn't counter spell that. <laughs> So yep. Well, uh, that that was uh that was the that was the play. Anything else? Nope. That was all I got. You are within ten feet of him. Just so you know. Oh uh yeah, I'll back. He can't use his attack of opportunity either because he counterspelled. So uh, do you have ten foot reach with that flail? You don't know. And well, uh, <laughs> that's gonna bring us to Kenna. Cool. Um. So just to make sure this wasn't um. Uh, that kind of actually saw this you you mentioned that as this dude was coming downstairs his eyes glowed when yeah. he was looking at druck while invisible yeah. i also mentioned that... he looks like a half dragon yeah. looks like a half dragon so yes just keep that in your expectations um so i assuming that's true sight i would like to cast dispel magic on that effect I don't know if you can cast did spell innate things, uh, but you know what? Roll for it. And let's oh, see it's what innate. happens. Yeah. Oh, does it does it just have true sight? Yeah. Oh, that's just yeah. That's just that's just a quality it has. So you go to cast, okay. and you wouldn't know. So you go to cast dispel magic, mm -hmm. and it just fails. Um, as I'm going to cast a spell, are there any other spells on this person that I can detect as I'm? Like, just spell effects. Oh, wait, you have Detect Magic up still, don't yeah. you? Detect Magic will still be up. Uh, he is not currently affected by any magic. The, uh, you would have detected he had fucking Disguise Self up, but yeah. that's gone now. Okay. But whatever. Blasted that's gone through. now. Wait, if Kenna... It, real quick, actually. If Kenna was... Since Detect Magic is up, if Kenna detected that there's no spells affecting him, would they be able to not have cast... Like, wasted yeah. his spell magic on yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Love that. Thank you so much. Um, then in that case, um, bonus action, third level healing word, Druck. Okay. Because he looks rough. <laughs> um, instead of using a third level to spell magic. Cool. Uh, where is it? Uh, 3d6, 3d4 plus 6. Uh, oh, fuck. There's two ones. Oh, no. Um, Druck, that's 12 hit points for you. Um, and then action, um, toll the dead, wisdom okay. saving throw at disadvantage. With disadvantage. For the Cathedium Crystal. Uh, 11 plus 11, 22. Fuck! Priest! God. Big old right. archpriest, dude. Yeah. Um, I don't have anything else. Priest thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is... That's all I got. Okay. Uh, you can use a, another legendary action to swing this flail at... Druk. Druk's the only one that's really, like, hit him within melee. And Coin did as well. Actually, you know what? I missed him completely. He's gonna go for Coin, because he all. sees, like, the... He sees, like... He looks at the sword you're using. Like, he senses something there. And is actually gonna attack Coin. Uh, 29 to hit. Uh, uh, 29? Yeah. Barely. Matching your blows. Uh, okay. That's max for the bludgeoning. That's 14 bludgeoning. Okay. And he's gonna choose one of the heads to hit. He's hitting you with, like, one of the dragon heads, and you can see each dragon head is kind of emanating chromatic dragon stuff. Uh, and trash. He's gonna, yeah, trash. He's gonna go for the cold, the white dragon head. So that's gonna be some additional damage. Uh, can I ask a question yes, regarding of this? Of course. Um, is that a breath weapon? It is not. It is just part of the flail attack. Okay. This is a cool fucking flail, so if anyone wants to play with it, <laughs> it probably won't be allowed. Uh, all right. Uh, that's two, three, six. Uh, eight cold damage. Eight cold As the white damage. dragon head on this flail slams into you. Because he uses a legendary action to do that. Cool. Uh, that'll bring us to Dax. You're ten feet away from this guy. I would like to bonus action rage. Yeah. So, uh, can I please get an intelligence saving throw? It probably won't work, but it's worth saying. Uh, 15? 
Oh! Oh, that, oh he succeeds? Legend, he, he fails? That fails. Legendary resistance. So he, he succeeds. Hey, but that means he's used yeah, up one of them. he's used one, that's right. You can, see he, you can see he momentarily, like, is like, and then he just pushes through it. And as he does, like, as he does this, like, legendary resistance, you briefly see the visage of a five-headed chromatic dragon briefly appear behind him, and then it fades. In, co in the best coin voice, Dax just goes, trash dragon. <laughs> and it just... With the Titan's Tooth Claymore, they are going, uh, it's Reckless. Yes, that gives you advantage. Is that, yeah, Reckless Great Weapon Master. Cool, go for it. Yeah, that's how you, that's how you do it. Yeah, it. okay. Go fucking for it, bud. Okay, so that would be, because minus five, that'd be 21 then. That hits. Okay, so for the first attack... You had, okay, ten, you, had okay. to, you had ten to it. You did. You didn't mind it. You minus five. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So you just add ten to this. So Twenty-six. Plus your rage bonus. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine damage on the first hit, and that's a magical weapon. Ah. Okay. You said twenty-nine. Yeah. Total he's, damage. He's still looking pretty good. One. Okay. Same thing. Uh, reckless great weapon master. Uh, if you, if you do, just so you know, if you do call oh. reckless, all your attacks are reckless. Sorry, thank you. Yep. Which means he has advantage on you if he attacks you. Uh, um. Fifteen. Fifteen misses. Just uh, just uh, I don't know. As they go, cause like the is the ceiling lower here at all? It's sixty feet up still. Okay. Well, they're just there's dead bodies and shit around here. You snag back, on the dead just body. like snags oh, it on like oh, you know like the, the linen wrap. Oh, you see snags like, on the linen wraps. Like, okay. like snag some of the linen wrap. Okay. Uh. Okay. That body is partially deveiled. Uh, no. and you know what? Uh, I sh I'm just I, I can't really do anything else because moving would be an attack of opportunity. So you know what? We're just gonna. No, he already did his. Oh no, he already he doesn't have any reactions because he did counter spell. Oh. Uh. <laughs> then I'm gonna. And legendary gonna actions. Up. Legendary actions don't count as reactions. So. Uh, then I'm gonna bibbity bop boppity backity the fuck up by okay. uh, like, yeah. How far? Uh, I used like ten feet to get closer to him. Okay. So then I have thirty feet. Uh, I'll, I'll back up like uh, back the fifteen feet. You know, just Sweet. a little. Sweet. All just, right. Just, 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 All just right. A... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. On his turn, he still looks sturdy. He's going to take his hands, and he's going to press them together like this while still holding onto the flail, and you can see flames start to roar around his hands. And you watch as... a bunch of sheets of roaring flame appear in this entire vicinity. You just... Uh, Ten-foot cubes of pillars of fire just... as he casts Firestorm. I need everybody but Flitz to make uh, dexterity saves. All right, Ven. 16. Don't forget your plus ones, those within range. I moved away from you. Ven, you take 36 points of fire damage. I'm going to use my reaction to cast Absorb Elements and turn that into 18 points of fire damage. All right, Coin, what'd you get? Uh, and you said that was dexterity. a dexterity saving throw. Okay, um, yeah, I got a 15. So... 36 points of fire damage. And I am resistant so, to fire, so that's 18. 18. Kenna. I got a 3, so coins bonus isn't going to uh, help. 36 points of fire damage. Alright, uh, I rolled a 22 for my con save for, or a concentration check for detect magic. Alright, uh, Druk. Uh, 18. No damage. Huh? Dax. 21. Thanks, Corey. Uh, 18 fire damage. Alright, does that. Uh, I gotta relook at some other stuff for that spell, because I remember things actually get lit on fire with that one. Alright. Anything that's not being worn or carried is engulfed in flames, so a lot of these corpses are just <laughs> ignited. 
well lit now. As a sort of last act of, or uh-huh. not a last act, but like I don't like they don't fucking care that they're desecrating bodies. Uh, cool. That's their action. Uh, end of their turn. That's gonna bring us to Druk. Uh, as much as I would love to stay here with Coin, uh, I'm a little hurt. Uh, this guy. Can I move around them? Yeah. To the opposite side? Yeah. Great. I'm going to do that, and then... Uh, oh. I should have been attacking with that shove on advantage last time we did it, because I had someone uh, within five feet. Try to remember that next time. We'll figure it. Yep. Uh, so... Yeah... I'm just gonna. He already he hasn't it hasn't been his wait his, his turn his turn just me yeah it's, right he got a twenty six for initiative okay his turn just so passed. all of his all of his reactions are back up yeah uh, oh so shit I'm I've been going... using the wrong dex modifier for his saves oopsies so uh, yeah if his reaction is back up yep I'm just gonna go okay. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna disengage I'm just gonna go outside. I'm just going to try to get 15 feet away from him. Okay, he doesn't make an attack of opportunity. That's what I thought. Uh, and, then, <laughs> and then I'm going to uh, And then bonus as side. you like move away, you can hear the <laughs> from like above and below. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Uh, I'm going to pull out the laser pistol and try to hit him. Go for it. And then mark a charge uh, off of that thing. Yep, that's 24 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Right in the back, just... Pew! All right. 24 to the hit. The laser demon. Uh, let me mark that charge off. That's now at 17 charges. And he appears resistant to radiant damage. Okay. Oh, oh, I fucking should have mentioned that when Coin was doing the smites. Sorry, buddy. Oh, oh. oh so that wasn't doing what I thought no. it was? Yeah, try to remember that. Forgot to mention. That's that's my bad. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> All right. So for some reason, I thought your divine smites were necrotic. My that's bad, my bad. Uh, that's forty-one radiant damage reduced to twenty. Okay. Okay. Just <clears throat> in the back. It kind of seems like the armor siphons that. Kind of like a, mm. he's only resistant to it because of his armor is what it looks like. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna use my bonus action to hide. Uh, okay. He's got true sight, but sure. Yeah, I mean, he like, looks to see through magic, not walls. You can't see through walls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So you're get it. You're going upstairs then to get out of his line of sight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, like it. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. 18. He hears you. Okay. <laughs> he just cocks his head to the back as you... So he knows where you went. Okay. That's anything, fine. Anything else? He's still not within his line of sight, regardless, so we're good. All right. Uh, and, your tur- and your turn, he's going to use a legendary action and cast... He's looking at everybody. How are you all looking? The ones that he can see. Under half health. A little bit over half. Okay. Uh, fucking rocking. All right. Raring to fight a trash dragon. Okay. So you might hold off on that then. Cool. So legendary action. He's still going to cast a spell because I said that's what he was going to do. Um, okay. He's going to point a finger at coin and just go, bye bye. And coin, did you make a charisma saving throw? Sure. Why not? You're a paladin. You're good at those, right? Uh, how does a 21 suit you? You feel like he's trying to banish you to another plane of existence, but you shrug it off. <laughs> uh, brandish the, the shield. All right. Then have the middle finger come up from behind it. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. So that was his that was his legendary action to do that, bringing us to coin. 
and then whip the shield back around and then try and stab him in the face with it go to do it. a yeah. shove attack. Okay, go for it. You have advantage because of pack tactics. Uh, yeah, because Dax is within melee now. Because Dax is the only one within melee now. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so that's a, yeah, athletics. 18. Oh, boy, here we go. On the table. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Dice are telling a tale. It's nine. Well, you go to budget, you're like, oh, that's probably why I couldn't budge him before. He's an eight-foot-tall dragon humanoid. Yeah, no, and I then think he, I tried. Yeah. He takes the hit, because like, he doesn't budge. Just poof. He just laughs. Just <laughs> oh. Interesting to see who serves the Platinum Dragon. Anything All else? All you trash dragons, talk, talk, talk. 26 to hit. Oh, that hits. Talk, talk. <laughs> everybody talks, everybody talks. 18 uh, level 2 spell so 18 plus 14 so that's 32 uh, roll so 32 oh that's a natural 20 thank you what was the damage on the first attack uh, 32, please. Okay, cool. And how much of that is weapon versus smite? Uh, sm poof. Uh, sm uh, the weapon damage was 18. Oh, yeah. And the okay. smite was... Yeah. I, were you having all those? I'm having all divine. I'm having all radiant damage. Just radiant damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably a good idea to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, separate them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's cold steel doesn't seem to be something he's resistant to. So yeah, he... Well, he's resist he's immune to non-magical attacks. Um, cool. So he... But the sword is magic. Correct. Alright, so radiant damage is 18. How much was uh, slashing? Uh, or 18, no, no, no. 18 the for slashing, the, how much was the radiant? Slashing? How much was the radiant? Uh, 14. So 7. So it's 25 total. Okay, cool. Excellent. You have... Let's... You have another attack. And you I, say it was a natural uh, 20. Which I, yes, which I rolled a natural 20. Okay. So do the sword damage first, not the divine damage. Okay. Or if you're smiting, but... Uh, so that's 18, which is a really okay. low crit, right? That yeah, feels for your low. weapon, yeah. That feels weird. All right. Whatever. <laughs> what a what a real it. bummer of a crit. <laughs> did you did you, you smite on it that? and see the dice roll like the individual yeah. die? Coins, sorry. Did you, did you smite on that one too? Uh yeah, I'm gonna be smiting on yeah, that 2D8, one. Yeah, two d eight, two d eight. Yeah, because yeah, smite damage seven. is also doubled. Yeah. Oh, so then it's sixty eight. Yes, but he has it, so yeah, yeah. sixty eight, and then he cuts it in half. Or you could just roll three d eight and just nah, because that that could fuck your total up anyway so oh, okay. 68 and then we'll have it so 14 so 32 total on the okay. second one so a total of 57 yeah. damage yeah. Yeah, yeah. caleb already halved the radiant damage oh, yeah, okay. so it's already been okay. halved gotcha okay i'll try to remember that um all right anything else coin uh i mean i got nothing else really all right flitz you see druck run up to where you are Okay. <laughs> he runs back down. And yeah, you can hear just... you can hear the barking noises getting closer from those things. Uh he's still within ten feet, like away from ten feet. Yeah, you can see him. As soon as you get down the stairs, he's like ten feet away. Cool. Um, alright. Uh we're going to fucking quicken spell. Um I should have built this guy like the new Vecna stat block, because Vecna can like reaction multiple times a turn. It's so cool. Anyways. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like that. Yeah, you didn't. Um, fuck. He's gonna bonus. A yeah, he's gonna bonus action. He's gonna try to double down on this Eldritch Blast. So he's gonna bonus action an Eldritch Blast. Okay. First casting of it. So that's a fourteen. Trash. Fourteen misses. 
That's a nineteen. Nineteen will hit because you're not you're no okay. you're no longer like yeah. above him in a weird position. That's a natural twenty on my third. Nice. So it's so, uh, the, the last two hit. Yeah, yeah. So that was for the crit. That was. I have to roll these actually separately. Oh, uh, grab. Uh, eleven for the first hit. Okay. For that was thunder. Fifteen for the second hit for the crit. Okay. And I said I was gonna double down, so he's throwing another three eldritch blast. Go for it. Fuck, sixteen's not gonna hit. Misses. Yep. Uh, twenty-one to hit. That hits. Okay. F. Dance on a fucking fifteen. Seventeen to hit. Seventeen just hits. Okay. Doing better. Except my damage is trash. Jesus. Uh, fifteen plus seven is uh twenty. Two. Twenty-two. And then he's gonna still, still looking back up about still, halfway up the stairs again. Still looking relatively good. Oh my god. All right, that's your turn, Flitz. Yep. And your turn, he's just gonna do legendary action flail attack on coin. Uh, 13 to hit. Doesn't hit. Oh. Okay. Uh, that'll bring us to Ven. Okay. Uh, Coin and Dax, how are they both looking? Uh, I'm good and good, baby. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Uh, then I guess Ven is just gonna... Uh, we've... People on either... Do we have people on either side of him? Uh, he's... Eh. How far, how far up the are are uh, you can't uh, see Druk. And... Okay, you the can Flitz see, you is can up see, at the you top can see of the stairs. Though. About halfway. Uh, is he still getting flanked by your sphere? Uh, sort of, but it's technically it's, it's yeah. not really doing anything. I'm just gonna end the concentration. <laughs> okay, yeah, I end the concentration. <laughs> um, okay, is there thirty feet between Flitz and uh and the guy? No, okay. So then I cannot cast. I don't think there's a way I can cast tidal wave. No, there is not. Yeah, yeah, because I would, I would have to hit somebody. Okay. And it's and getting, it's getting, getting it's, it's, it's like not getting super smoky in here yet. But it, once the smoke starts to build up from all these burning corpses, it'll probably get to like oh, obscure. Shit, right. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Then we're just gonna just gonna just gonna go with a good old fashioned firebolt. Then. Go for it. So. 28 to hit. 28 hits, and the armor seems to absorb all of the firebolt. Oh, no. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, that was my turn. Snell learning with this armor on. Even though he's a green scaled draconic being, the armor mm -hmm. makes him immune to fire damage. I hate this dude. Mm -hmm. Also, Druk would have been fine in the firestorm anyway. Uh, cool. Uh, Kenna. Um, I'm going to cast a third level Wither and Bloom on him. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Constitution saving throw. Uh, 18. Oh, that just succeeds. Um, so he takes, instead of 8, he takes 4 necrotic damage. Okay. Uh, but coin, you get to roll 2 hit dice and heal up. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So that's whatever my hit dice are? D10s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you. I just wanted to clarify with the yeah wording. Um, that's my action. I don't have much in the way of bonus actions right now, because all my bonus actions are spells. Yep. Um, yeah. Healing so, sixteen. Cool. Nice. You add her wisdom, don't you? You add her spellcasting ability. Uh, for wither and bloom. Pretty sure. Let me double check. Um. Plus, yeah, plus my spellcasting ability modifier. So um, add six. Okay, hey, twenty-two. Nice, nice. Uh, do do do. Yeah. Cool. Anything else? Um. Uh, how's the fire room looking? It's, it hasn't been in many turns to make a lot of smoke. It's been like maybe around. Okay. And I have it would be an action to try to start putting fires out. It's an action to put a fire out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Per like flame. Yeah. Um 
and I can't really squeeze past coin and Dax in this half dragon. Um, nope. Cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out in Again, here. Again, there is a staircase on the opposite side, and you're not. Uh, do I hear anything coming from up the, down you there? You all hear noises coming from below and above, just <laughs> echoing just down. Okay. Um, I'm gonna turn around and start getting ready okay. to right. take on the and guys coming from you were with, you were within 10 feet does not appear like he has a 10 foot reach with this thing sweet so you... uh, then I'm going to get a little bit closer to the door like 20 feet away from him okay so you'd get, to, you'd, you'd, get to, you'd get to the base of the stairs on the opposite side like okay. to go up I assume you're wanting to go up where the door was yeah Okay. you guys did get a few flights down so alright Dax Reckless great weapon master on this bitch. Go for it. So advantage minus First five. First one was a 15. Misses. He just sidesteps it. Same thing for the second one. Yep. 16. <sighs> miss, miss, miss. Damn. Anything else? I don't, uh, um, 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 let me just, uh, let me just, uh... You're rolling those with advantage? I don't think you have any bonus actions. Wait a minute. I didn't roll those with advantage. Did you not? Let me look. I did not. Yep. I just did flat rolls for both. Try to remember that. Go again. Okay. Advantage. Okay. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23 to hit. That hits. That hits. Okay. So that will be 27 damage. Okay. And can I reroll the other one? You reroll all your attacks. Yeah. Because okay. you didn't do advantage on them. Oh, natural 20. There it is. There it is. Cool. Might not have been good in terms of this encounter. Just to, just so you know. When, when, I, I, when do, I, still, I don't think it wasn't that great. Of, uh, 31 damage plus your rage bonus. 31, 32, 33, 34 with the rage bonus. Okay. He's... Whatever. He, it, it was good. You got a natural 20 and <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, no. I'm just I saying. I mean, the dice have been bad. All right. Anything else? Um, just posting up a coin. Okay. If we go down, we go down uh, together. That'll maybe. bring us to him. I Excellent. How's everybody? How's everybody that you can see looking? Because he's looking right at people. Before. So. Yeah, still at fifty. Okay. Fifty. Okay. Fifty-one out of seventy. How you looking, Ben? One in hind. Interesting. So Gucci, amazing. Interesting. A little under half, yeah. Okay. Fine. Ben's max is sixty-six. Well, he can cast spells as his legendary actions, so those are fine. So he's going to cast disintegrate on Ven. Oh, <gasps> oh boy! I can't help that. So Ven, have, uh... deck save, please. You have a twelve oh, percent, and you're no longer with, and you're no longer within ten feet of coin. So, yeah, yep, you, you, yep, have, yep, a yep, you yep, have a twelve percent yep. chance of living. Yep, uh, but we've been here before. Yeah. Yeah. Next save, please. Yeah. Yeah. We know how this one goes. Let me just let me just really quick once again look through my spells and see if I have any reactions that can save me. I don't, but it just give me a sec. It, it gives me a little bit more longer before I have to mourn Ben. Hold how, on. how have you Hold not on. picked up counterspell yet? Just Which saying, Sentinel when would I? Sentinel would not work for this. Okay, I just it says attack. And also, I yeah, I looked at all of your guys' stuff. I know your guys' stuff. If you were a Sentinel ben, warcaster, yeah. deck save, please. I'm, 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 get, I'm, yep. What'd you get? That's a six, my good sir. All right. Not our moral <laughs> compass. So, Ven, you have how many hit points? 29. Oh, yeah. Even with the plus 40. Uh, Ven is just pff, turned to dust. 37 damage. Yep. 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 Ven is just dust. Pff, all 
His so, non all of his non-magical equipment is also reduced to dust. Which that, is a lot, but there's a lot of magic stuff. Diamonds that you still have on your person? Oh god. Oh, luckily, no, luckily all uh, those diamonds all are hanging out in transfer space. All right. But yeah, then just dust. But the teleportation circle that I could have cast no those longer there. are gone. Yep. Yep. All right. And he just smiles. All right, cool. cool. That's going to bring Carpet, us... Carpet, fortress, cloak, ring. That's going to bring us to Druk. Uh, I didn't see that. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah. Steady aim. Crimson art crossbow. Oh, fuck. Okay. Go for it. 26 to hit. Hits. <clears throat> That's... Uh, okay, that's 27... 35 damage total. Uh, okay. 7 of that is lightning. The armor would have that, okay. Alright, anything else? Uh, no, I'll just try to get full cover All right. back in. And you don't see Ben anywhere. Uh, cool. I wouldn't be able to see him anyway. That brings us to coin. Ah, actually, hold on. Uh, end of your turn, he's going to do another legendary action, because he got those back. And he's going to look towards coin and cast harm. So coin, I need a constitution oh. saving throw. you get eight eight you take 50 points of necrotic damage cool and um your hit point maximum is reduced by 50 for one hour uh, uh, okay all right uh coin is your turn great i'm gonna cast spirit shroud as a bonus action and then i'm going to attack Go for it. Great. Uh, it's the 22 taste. Hits. Great. Uh, that's 15 of the regular damage. Yep. And uh, rolled 15 of the. Uh, okay, so seven. Radiant damage, so seven. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this is my last turn. I gotta get going to bed. It's way too late. Cool. 14. Ah, uh, misses. Great. Awesome. Anything else? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, oh, whoops. I forgot to roll the damage for the uh, shroud. Oh, yeah. Do that. Okay. Um, you said it wasn't resistant to necrotic, right? Correct. So that's seven necrotic damage it takes. How do you want to do this? What? Get five hit points. Oh shit, girl. Um... No one believes me. I'll fucking take a picture of it. <laughs> no way. I mean, no, it's just like yeah. Uh, never mind. Whatever. I mean, it's a real that the last five minutes have been a real roller coaster. And also, I did just you know tell say I was going to bed. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's an exhausting time to get. Uh, Final kill. Um, uh, I guess Coin is going to use the shield and just go 
uh, full soldier boy on his face. All right, excellent. Smashing until he goes down to the ground. Coming back with the left on the sword, smashing, smashing, left, smash, smash, until, yeah, just a, a, a puddle where the middle of the face used to be. All right. And then the body discorporates, and that's where we're in the session for the week. Bye, everybody. Oh, no. One more.